Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Chalked Cast, episode 60, actually, episode, okay, looks like I was the only one who got the memo today, guys, what the, it's Halloween, come on. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? No, gen like, genuinely. What are you? It's hard to see. It's a chicken full. wing. I thought oh. you were, I thought you were a penis. <laughs> You, actually, you thought you thought you thought I was dressed as a cock and balls on Halloween. Are you yeah. serious? You look like you look a little bit like a cock. That Ch would be on brand. Children, children that watch that the stream, brand. okay? This is a okay. this is a chicken wing, okay, buddy. I don't, be I don't believe it. Guess I was the only one who got the memo. Do I have to wear this thing the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I literally said yeah. two minutes ago. I was like, wait, it's Halloween. We've not dressed up. <laughs> And Rizzo hadn't turned his camera on yet for us. Yep. And he was like, speak yep. for yourself, guys. I mean, I was like, oh no, what's he done, man? <laughs> Just had to keep a little surprise for the fellas here. But hey, speaking of the fellas, the fellas are back. Chalkcast took like a month-long break. And here we was are. Was it a month? It wasn't a month, was I, it? it? I'm pretty sure been. it was a month. Last episode, was, October no 4th. Way. October 4th. So basically it's almost a month. Wow. Yeah. The it's boys, crazy. the fellas, the boys are back. Uh, the off-season is... Still going on. We probably got about six months left into the, the offseason, but we'll see. Jack, oh, uh, yeah. for you, you guys announced First Killer. How has we your offseason been? How did that whole process go for you? It was smooth, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, quite a short answer because I don't, uh, it's, it's not been, you know, anything crazy for us. We've been sitting back and, and watching, you know, the kind of mayhem unfold with a lot of teams and uh, just been enjoying it since we've really, you know, we've had our roster for a while now. So, yeah. You say you say it was pretty smooth. I'm actually surprised, but at the same time, I'm sure like you got a discount from FaZe for uh for purchasing first killer. I'm sure they probably sold them for like ten, maybe fifteen. Bucks? Yeah, dollars. <laughs> Just dollars. Dollars, yeah, yeah, it's not that. <laughs> so I'm like, I got it cheap, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Not, yeah, not bad confirmed. <laughs> Is it worth paying for anyone in this current climate? That's what we need to talk about. <laughs> Are we worth any money? <laughs> I mean, it's he was out of contract. He was, he was, he was out of contract. So, so Genji, yeah. Genji got a good, good deal. They didn't have to pay for him. But that means he probably got a good deal as well. Because if he's out of contract, no buyout, he can negotiate more yeah, money. Corona. I've got a cock over here drinking a Corona. Yeah, that is it. really I'm like it's like an eyesore. But like trying to enjoy my night, guys. You just call me an eyesore? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I think call you an eyesore. Oh. <laughs> well, like uh, te technically, you know. I called the I called the you know the combination of you and you know the costume and I saw. It's a chicken but I don't. But I think you'd look far. I think you look far better in it than I would, Rizzo. So. Oh, I, thank you. you. That. I appreciate but, that. It's very nice. So we need to get Jack, Jack a chicken wing costume. Is all I'd here. do it. Hey, I'd do it. I just don't have one available to me right now, so mm. I can't. You know, else I'd put it on right now. Let, let me uh, did you? Back. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, CJ. Go on, you, you, you go, go on, on. You go, you guys. a month off. It's good to be back. You know, I was. we went away. Johnny went away. I went yeah. away. You know, it was Europe was beautiful. Thanks. You everyone. really went away. You went away, away. Like, oh, yeah. As far as you know, yeah, I saw on your, like, I, I saw on something. I can't remember what I saw on. Where, where were you? Were you in, like, uh, I was where in Italy. You? I was in Greece. Were you in Greece? Yeah, yeah. Where were you? Were you at like Mykonos or something? It was a little bit everywhere. Mykonos, Santorini. Santorini. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Got the weather over there. Marvelous cruises. How good are cruises, everyone? Was it good? I'm so jealous. I've never been on a cruise. I've never been. Never been. We should go. Yeah, I'm. I know you cannot like just like that. I genuinely like. I you gotta ask me another time because that's really put me off. Actually, I feel a little bit ill. Wait, what? What put you on? What do you, you mean? Were you dressed, dressed as like as that, saying we should go on a cruise, oh. Rizzo? I, I don't know if we can... Well, I'm not going to be that. wearing this for the cruise. Like, if you bring another one, then we might make it... Yeah, yeah, or, or we could you do could, it. We could do it. You could totally yeah. all so go... Anyone like, in chat that says this. cruises are mid, either you are like nine years old and you can't enjoy the luxuries, or you're, I don't know, you've gone on the wrong cruise because I you've got really the go right on. one. Um, and it was, look, it was unbelievable. There's something about just cruising the Mediterranean. You got a cocktail in your hand. You're on your little sunbed by the pool and you cannot even feel the fact you're on a cruise and you just wake up. Boom, I feel like I'm on I'm a cruise right now, CJ. Go, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Go to sleep, wake up, boom. I see the Santorini cliffs right there. I mean, there is uh, something. Yeah. It, is, it is so good. It is unbelievable. I mean, I cannot, I don't know. I, I said 
as soon as I got on the crew, I was like, oh, I'm go- every holiday I'm going on is going to include a cruise from now. <clears throat> it is was it? Um, wow. Did you did you go with people or? Yeah, I went with my partner and my sister, nice. her partner. So a few, there was eight of us, so sort of like my family, but like we're all sort of the same age. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's, I'm awesome. jealous. This, I'm very jealous. proof of us that we just got absolutely, you know, we're not going to condone drinking here, but I was <laughs> no. for the entire time. Um, yeah. And it was so it was so good. Good way to detox. Perfect time of the year with the off Good way to de- just... <laughs> detox. I don't know if that's I know, a, sorry. the word the sorry. word choice <laughs> there. De stress. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Um, and you know, I just every now and then, maybe every few days, I check Twitter and see you know the world imploding around me. My entire you know other part of my life being destroyed. Your entire so, ecosystem. You know, in my hand. I wasn't really worried about it until I got back. Um, yeah. Yeah. We can. Uh, now we're here. We can get back to the 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 uh, your other world getting destroyed in just a second. I do want to talk about what Chartcast kind of got up to during our break. If you guys don't know, oh yes, yes, of course. I wanted to throw this announcement oh, yes. in here. Uh, Hercules was uh, a part of EG, and she was hosting tournaments throughout the entire year. Fifteen events was the plan, but they dropped her after eleven events, and they said the sponsors dropped out. Well, you know what happened next? EG hosted the tournaments, same sponsor, but without her. Horrible. Despicable. Disgusting. Fuck them. Cringe. And cringe. Yeah. So, you know, we did at Shotcast. Thanks to all the Patreon members who pay that Actually. whopping five bucks a month. We funded a prize pool. We funded an event. And we're making it happen. It's actually happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is the qualifier. And November 3rd is the day of the event. And we upped the prize pool by $1. EG is doing a $2,500 prize pool, and we are doing what a do? 2501 prize pool. And honestly, I don't even know if they're still doing the tournament because they deleted the announcements for it. <laughs> yeah, they did. they, they oh, actually really? got so much backlash that they completely deleted it. So, hey, I think that's a dub. Not even just a Chalkcast dub. That's a community dub right there. Community, Chalkcast community Shout dub. Out to the Everyone who's ever supported Chalkcast in any honestly, way. And honestly, yes, anybody who even watches you, Chalkcast helped do that. So thank you so much. That's what we that's what we do with the funds from Chalkcast is we make EG cry. That's what we do around I'm here. I'm not going to lie. Actually, gonna what lie. we do. I, I didn't say this to you guys, but I, I um when I saw that, uh you know, EG did that, I, and, you know, I was like, Jesus, that, that is so bad. And I actually thought of the same idea <laughs> of doing, the, doing it with her and trying to get like a sponsor and doing like 2,500, that was like a cent or something. So you, wait, you guys, I, oh, I wasn't so going to do should, it. Jack, you, know, you, you still, you still could because Space Station one upped us, which we think is great. We're glad because wait, really? she, she had four events cancelled, and we said we could do, we can do you for one of them. Uh, we got the first got, one. Yeah, we we can we can lock it lock that in. But yeah, Space Station went two thousand five hundred and two dollars for the next one. So there's still two more, <laughs> technically. Okay, there's, there's a three, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I genuinely hope that we get uh, beaten by two more sponsors, orgs, content creators, wh- whoever. Like the point of doing that isn't to try. We're not trying to like sign. We can't afford Hercules. We can't sign her as a showcast. Yeah. Tournament Char- organizer. We, sh- <laughs> we need to get a content creator. Oh my god! Send the applications yeah, in the Discord. Be sure to join up. Yeah, we don't have enough of those, so we, we can't we can't afford it. But yeah, we're we're glad straight away that another ah, it's like good. Uh, it's stepped good. up. It's awesome. It's, it's terrible. Like, what it's really bad. What they what they did. It's ridiculous. EG I'd like said, to, oh, spon- they told her literally. They told her the sponsor y- yeah. pulled out, so we have to pull pull the plug in your tournament because the sponsor pulled the money or canceled the last payment or whatever. So there's no money. Unfortunately, we can't pay you, and we can't run the tourney. And then suddenly, the sponsor appears again. It's like, what are they doing? Like, they, the even if sponsor? even if the sponsor did pull out and then come back in, the you'd, the thought to do invite, that, yeah, yeah, the thought to do that without her is so dumb. I cannot believe that they didn't like consider the PR. <laughs> I can't believe they thought that would work with the Rocket League scene. Maybe that works in some other scene, but in the Rocket League scene, that is so not going to work. No one is going to back that. So I'm glad the way it went. Good job, SSG yeah. as well. Shout out to them. Big dubs, big dubs to chalks and the patrons. You guys, you guys made it happen. So, mm-hmm. shout out you guys. We did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, well, not. Riz, 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 Riz's idea. Riz's idea. <laughs> yeah, I saw somebody speculating. Well, we, we made like, it all uh, happen together. Come on, fellas, group credit. Chief group marketing credit. officer. I approved of it. Obviously, it's great PR. Um, and it's it's a worthy cause. When we want to spend the patrons' money, <laughs> we need good causes for it. We, we do. found one there. 
So I saw some comment, uh, I forget where, it was either Twitter or Reddit or something, saying, uh, I wonder who thought of this. I bet it was CJ or maybe Rizzo. So they basically decided, yeah, anyone could have thought of that. Except definitely you not evil Johnny. human <laughs> <being. laughs> Johnny's not that Johnny cool. would have read a one. Definitely not Johnny. I don't know what that means. Like, not a one's really journey? Can't I'm be Johnny. A, maybe I'm an idiot or <laughs> just... Didn't want, don't want to put my money well, into things like that. Yeah, know. the thing the thing is like you know dropping somebody from an org is like one thing, which is unfortunate. Like it's common, and it's like that's you know people see that tweet and they're like, oh that sucks, but that's not like surprising. That's not like what the hell, you know? Yeah. And then, mm. When they run the same tournament with the same sponsor, that's when, it, when it's like, okay, now you fucked up. Get them, boys. It's just, then the whole Rocket League yeah. community is just like going after them. It's insane. But uh, yeah. hey, EG's, EG's downfall wasn't the only thing that's happened uh, while CJ was on vacation. We actually had a uh, Rocket League's downfall as well. We're done. We're yeah, out CJ, of a job, guys. CJ, you got to stop Jeez. this, bro. Like, er, like next year, At I know the cruise is good, but no. what are you doing? Like, as soon as you leave, everything falls apart. So, well, tell me a... what's happened then, because you know I'm only seeing specs and specs. I need, I need the lowdown, and maybe the viewers, some people, you know, listening or watching Rizzo, need the lowdown on what is actually going on with our esports. <clears throat> With our eSport, I don't know. There hasn't been a single message about our eSport, but okay. what is happening with the, the main game is basically as soon as you went on vacation, I think the day or the day after, they were just like, we're going to remove trading. And so a big mm. core part of the community is gone. So they're just removing it. Uh, then there were some leaks, some rumors, some rumored leaks about Rocket League Racing being added, and that's why you can't trade your items anymore. And then it was because Rocket League Racing is actually in Fortnite. Rocket League Racing is actually in Fortnite, and the transition between swapping your items is between games is too confusing. Article. It's not confirmed, no, I don't think. It, is, no, a, it is just a leak or a rumor leak. So we, we may okay. very well be out of our minds and just be overreacting, but like, I, I think it's valid at this point. I do. I it seemed like a uh, reputable leak. The guy had like 900 followers. Yeah, I'll yeah. Count it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it came from a few different sources from what I saw like at, at the same time. I could be wrong, but from what, yeah, like I said, from what I saw, it, it came from a couple of different sources yeah yeah the guy and, is like and, a fortnite leaker too so I, I trust that yeah yeah and one of them is uh i think it's like recon who who are fairly i'd say reputable um nowadays so yeah uh it's, it's as long as so what what's yeah. the, the the breakdown of that exactly the rock league uh racing uh thing what's like the from what from what from all we know it's over as a bullet from all we know it's just that it's it's just gonna be a game mode that has kind of been it's it's been like you know talked about before in the last mm, few months. Yeah. And we thought it was coming to Rocket League, or we thought it was just going to be a separate game. But then it's just being put into Fortnite, like creative, or like you know they have that kind of uh, section where you can go through a bunch of different maps. Mm. It'll just be in that, I guess. That's right, one guess, right. and I th I think right. Yeah, that um. So with like Fortnite in general, and like UEFN, like uh, UEFN is like the Unreal Engine side of Fortnite, where people can create their own maps or mini games or game modes using a bunch of assets from fortnite and i think the assumption is that it's going to be something like that or something similar to that but my hope with it like i actually kind of have confidence with it and i feel like i'm the only delusional one here i feel like everybody is just like this is shit because it's in fortnite but i i would rather it be in fortnite than it be in rocket league because fortnite is actually on unreal engine 5 compared to rocket league being on unreal engine 3 and there's less capabilities so it's like, it's a trade-off. I don't know, like, people are pissed because they're like, I don't want to launch Fortnite to play Rocket League Racing. It's like, why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I don't know. I'm interested, so like, I'm going to open Fortnite. Like, what's the big deal about opening but Fortnite? But is the concern that their main game is getting left behind yes. with the racing game? Is that the, That's the concern, isn't it? It's because I think it completely removes all, like, authenticity. And, like, that. that's what I think anyway. Like, we've created a... You know, a, see, a whole scene and a whole like you know game. It's unique. Here. It's unique and it's its own thing. And I do think with the way it goes, we we're, we're gonna see Epic completely take over and and almost Rock League become a a side project and and you know a complete. It's not even gonna be its own thing. I think in the end. Um, is that? But okay. So just to I I've never played Fortnite uh personally so this is all like quite weird flex I, i've seen it but yeah is that a flex that's cool <laughs> okay you know that was Thank flex you. but uh, what, yeah, what uh, do you have yeah. sex too jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> so i literally never played Fortnite. <laughs> haven't uh like downloaded <laughs> Fortnite. so i don't know what that's you know having to navigate through Fortnite to get into this game would be like i don't know like if, if that's actually a problem not not really i don't think it's a big concern for me personally but 
would it give more i mean you know would it put rocket league rocket league racing it's got to put rocket league racing in more people's eyes it's fortnite's such a big game still um than if it was part of rocket league it, it, lower, smaller player base this is going to give rocket league racing more i'm just thinking out loud here i've actually not thinking, really read too much about this about, but is that how it works but you, well technically sure but it, there's a big difference in my opinion between the quantity of of you know viewers and the quantity of like how many eyes you're putting in front of and the qu quality of them like if you're putting in front of a bunch of you know people's eyes who actually that's just not their interest and it's just not the correct kind of you know market for it then you're not actually just going to see the correct return in in the end anyway if you if you so it's like i, I don't think it's hitting the right you know kind of player base if you put in in fortnite because there will be a large percentage of rock league players that will never know that it exists because the people we see on twitter and on reddit in the rock league community are like a, a, such a small percent of the actual player base right there's a there's a, I think there's a big chance that a lot of the player base will just never know that this Rocket League racing is even going to be a thing in Fortnite. Uh, I and you, and maybe, even if they I do, mean, I think that a lot of people won't play it compared to if they if it was in our game. But well, okay, so people are kind of uh, you know uh, like Rocket League players. They they play Rocket League because they like Rocket League. And if Rocket League Racing popped off, it was number one game on Twitch, just hypothetically, it might, it might not be. Who knows how well it will do. But if, it, if it's a good game, very good game, and it's in Fortnite and it does very well, maybe they like slap like an advertisement in all of the, uh, the fields in Rocket League about it. And every time you launch the game, big pop-up comes up. I'm Rocket sure there League will Racing be a pop-up. Well. I'm sure that they're going to want to do that. So that I'm not, like, none of these things I'm saying are too crazy. Like they probably would happen. The part, well, yeah. the, part, the part about how good the game is, obviously we'll have to wait and see. You forget I, how I, lazy I hope, people we'll are. See. Well, it's not even about laziness. You forget, well, kind of how lazy people are. And it's just how, like, you know, we have everything, like, given to us. So if you have to now go through multiple, you know, more barriers to get into a, a game, it, I, I really think it will affect it. And, and it, it really depends what the goal is. It depends, we're, we're kind of brushing past the point that it really depends what the goal of this mode is. Do they want mm -hmm. it to become a gate and, like, an actual game that is even bigger than Rocket League because they could want that. I don't know. We, d we have no idea. You know? Or do they want it to be kind of a funnel into Rocket League? It, it, we don't know the aim. Uh, Here's uh, the problem know. with that, though. Is it, you know, I'm picturing the hypothetical world where, you know, oh, this is clearly going to come out before, you know, Rocket League UE5 or Rocket League 2 or whatever. Like, clearly this is like, this is mm. happening, you know, based on the whole trading thing and stuff. Here's my problem. If I'm just a generic, you know, I'm maybe not a Rocket League fan. Or I always play Fortnite. I'm a little Fortnite kid, you know. And I see Rocket League Racing. It's on UE5. I launch it. How good is this? The textures, the shadows, you know, everything looks unbelievable. And then I go and decide to play the actual Rocket League game. This looks like a heap of shit. Like what, <laughs> what? Like it's like I'm playing on Windows 98. What have I launched here? Have I? Am I playing my grandfather's <laughs> game? So I'm gonna stick to Rocket League Racing because it looks better. It's way more polished, better frame rate, smooth. Everything looks unreal. And here we are with Rocket League. Like, come to the good game. And we're on Unreal Engine three. Come you know, on over, come I'm trying try to. It. I'm trying to see through my pixels to see if the balls there. <laughs> um, I think yeah. it, it's gonna really make Rocket League look a lot worse. I don't think it's gonna be uh, until we. If it ever happens, get Rocket League 2 UE5. I can only see it being like, this looks so much better. Because when they put the Octane in Fortnite, I actually kind of felt nice in it. I did jump in it, you know, during some of the games. And it looks good. It looks, you know, it looks way better than what we have, you know, in Rocket League. Because the UE5 engine. Because UE5, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I think yeah. something that a lot of people forget is like, Rocket League is like, actually extremely popular. Like, it was, an, it was quite like a mainstream game. Um, it's but it, it's, it's just that it was so hard that most people stop after 10 games or whatever or like they play so casually that you know it's it, like people don't stick around a lot a lot of times so whereas like there's no update to kind of keep people coming in um there's nothing new there is yeah there's, there's, there's never nothing. there's never anything new but like rocket mm. league is an extremely popular game and it, and it like if you say well i don't know, about the, I don't know if you say to like normies but like if you say rock league to like any gamer like they'll probably know exactly what you're talking about compared to like some random game like rock league's not a random game like it's it's very yeah. popular well okay i i don't know i've just googled you know top games by uh average players and i don't know the like the validity of the top link i just clicked on the first link rock league's we'll like 12th behind like you know all the popular games grand theft auto Baldur's gate Valor, yeah, all these games, the classics call of duty uh csgo minecraft fortnite 
Um, so basically, all the big games, and Minecraft? then Rocket League's like it's it's in the it's you know it's the twelfth. It's a big game. It's a popular game, um, but it's nothing like the size of Fortnite. Fortnite's like way that's like a massive game. It's like way no, bigger. I'm... So it, why like I can totally see like to to you know to just to try and look at it from like a logical standpoint. Like obviously, if Rock, if Rock League Racing's in Rock League, I'd be like, this is fantastic. I wouldn't think a second thought. That would be like good. Yeah. Good job. But like if 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 uh, if it is going to be in in uh, Fortnite not Rocket League, that's going to put it in front of the eyes of like what 10 10 no probably like 100 times the players compared to Rocket League something I would like guess, that. Yeah. 50 to 100 times as, as many players. It makes more sense so to put it in Fortnite. It's, that a, makes, it's a free yeah, it's a I, bigger I do, free billboard. I, I can't really, you know, it's a better if it's a better engine, maybe it's easier to make it in there. I don't know anything about yeah. making games, but yeah, I assume yeah. it's easier. And there's like 50 to 100 times more players who are going to see this. I, I, I can see why they would want to do that, honestly, like from yeah, a business standpoint, if you want to get people playing their game. I can see why they would want to do it, but it doesn't mean that doesn't mean it's a good thing for the game. Because, well, like, well we, we're remember, assuming. So what, for Rocket League, like, you're right, though. What's the motive? What, are they, you know, if we're trying to make Rocket League bigger, yeah, maybe it's like better to put it in Rocket League. I don't know. I mean, but like, if we're, we're just trying to make as much money as possible, which is what they're trying to do. And you can't blame them for that. You know, some people are like, boo, they're trying to make money, stop it. That's fine. They have to make money. But uh, how they make money is the, is the, uh, the discussion, not if. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, they want to make money. So obviously, like, they're going to put it in the bigger. I, could, I can see why they would want to do that personally. Yeah, I can definitely see why they would want to do it. Again, I just think it's a question of if, if it's actually going to benefit our game. And, and I will say that there is, there is a, pos- there's a, there's a chance this is going to be a positive. There is a chance. Yeah, I think there's, there's ways it could be, yeah. But I, I don't think it will be. I, I really don't think that Epic cares about our but game. What, what, if it, what if it, like, for example, it pops off, uh, what if it's really good, blows up, everybody's playing it, it pops it's off, everybody's going to be racing. It's never going to be as big as Fortnite. No, of I, course not. Like, well, I mean, that would be a that crazy, is, that is, that crazy is, accomplishment. Imagine they, that, uh, they one-up yeah. Fortnite, which is like a generational game, like crazy. That, that game is so ridiculous. If they can one-up Fortnite, that's, I mean, nobody's expecting that. I, I just I don't I just don't I don't think we'll see a positive out of this. I I, I think that we could, but I I, the, I think the chances are too slim. Wait, you don't I see really you think... don't see any positive out this or about this? No, sorry, I don't I don't think no. I actually, to be honest, I I genuinely don't because I I think that it's it's showing. I really do think that it's showing we're going to go into a period of time where Epic don't care at all about our game. I think that I think we're already mm. in that period of time, buddy. I think we've been there for a while now. I'm a, I'm a keep, uh, I'm a keep I, an I absolute think, buck with you. No, I think we've already been there. We're just we're just con- I don't think continuing we have. what we've been doing. No, no, no. I you're, getting think cook, been... you're getting cooked by a chicken no. win. Think about that. I don't think <laughs> sure, maybe maybe I am, but look, I don't think we have. I think we've no, been the in tables really have I, I think we've been in <laughs> I think we've been really good times. I think we've been in really good times and people won't realize we won't realize what we had until we don't have it. I, I don't I really Ooh, think that's real. I gen- <laughs> I genuinely think that we the game might have hit its peak now. Because but okay, I, I... there's there's a whole um uh, on that topic before you before we continue the the whole like thing about UE5 Rocket League UE5. What if this is like true Rocket League, Rocket League Racing UE5 in Fortnite massive success and they just make Rocket League two whatever they want to call it in Fortnite as well and that's again in front of more players in like uh I don't know how like when 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 something is in Fortnite, what would that mean? Like you have to run yeah, into have this to garage with your Fortnite character. Then, do you have to yeah. run into the car? Like I don't know what that means. Yeah, so, I'm a boomer. No, no. so you'll yeah. Mo- most likely, if they're doing it the way I assume, or what most people are assuming they're going to do it, is you, you launch Fortnite and then there's like a big wall of game modes essentially, yeah. and Rocket League Racing will uh, okay. probably be plastered right on the front. Like it's going to be their featured mm-hmm. mode, and most people are probably going to be in it. It's probably going to be the most popular think, mode. You know. You'd hope at least on day one, at least, that it's going to be the most popular mode. But yeah, y- yeah, yeah, you would hope that they like plaster it up there, and then like everybody plays it, and then they go, "Oh, this is shit! I'm playing, uh, I'm playing Zone Wars," and they just go and play their Zone Wars Fortnite mode. But then, yeah, there's basically like, a big wall of game modes. Um, oh, well, already, there's already a big wall of game modes. Yeah, when you open Fortnite. Uh, oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, click yeah. another button, but like, yeah, there's a there's a, there's a bunch of custom modes, and like what Epic was saying, you know, when like the layouts are happening, and there was that big email from Tim. Uh, that long Jimmy. email that I actually read for some reason, but it actually mm. had something important in there, and it was saying that like their most profitable aspect and their most like beneficial aspect to them is like the UEFN part, which is like 
their creative aspect of it where creators can make a game mode they can make maps and then they share with communities and basically they're able to monetize it through the communities and the creator gets uh gets kicked back and then obviously epic gets kicked back as well because people are on their game and stuff like that but uh that is like their most successful venture in their fortnite ecosystem and so that's why i can see rocket league racing being a positive on fortnite because if they made rocket league racing in rocket league let's just let's just be real here okay think about this how many updates have been gameplay updates or game mode updates in rocket league in the past two years probably like five percent maybe i don't know besides like bug fixes probably and less. stuff like that probably less of actually just... adding features so if they added rocket league racing to rocket league they're not going to update it but at least if they add it to fortnite there's a chance that the community right. will be able to make maps and do I... stuff with it and make it interesting Okay, I, and I understand that point of view, but I don't think it's a correct one that we should be, like, kind of accepting. Because that means you've just accepted that our game... He, it's just... It yes, my, my, he's, my, he's my, into, my, like, my hands, racing, are tied. My hands are tied. What he, am I going to do? Give, he doesn't give one toss about the game anymore, Rizzo. So you, you talk, you're sort of not... You're not talking to an, an eSport player anymore. You're thinking about a, he's a content machine. So the content yes. there is going to be good. He's Dressed a track me. mania. Oh, I, oh, I'm Rocket the, League oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, a, I'm, a, I'm a content guy. I got content. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not you, Jack. You're the, you're the eSport. You're yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the eSport itself. Yes, it's. No, I'm with you. It's probably not a positive for the yeah, eSport I'm, I'm thinking about the game as well. I don't, I, I'm really. And the like, game, I'm, yeah. I'm really positive that, like, I, I don't think. Because Rizzo, like, oh, yeah, wait, I understand. When you if say gets, that, Jack. If it gets put into the game, right, like, real quick, if it gets put into the game, mm -hmm. they, they're not going to update it. Yeah, because they just don't update Rock League. But they, why, why are we not wishing or why are we not trying to push them to do both? Because they can and they should be. Jack, they like, haven't updated the game in seven years. I know, years. but we are. <laughs> I know. But we're sitting, I, like, like, I, is, think, I think it's, I'm accepting it and I'm seeing it exactly, as a positive. Exactly, exactly. Because no, no. there is no hope. I've lost my it's hope. Exactly, that's my point. They, they, the game is not, it's, if, it, if they don't do something, <laughs> it won't survive. But okay, so when you say you don't think this is good for Rocket League uh, or the game, when you say the game, you mean Rocket League. Jack. Yeah, yeah not Rocket League racing. racing. I don't You're want not to talking race. about Rocket League racing, yeah. So Rocket League racing being in in uh, in Fortnite, not good for Rocket League, is your stance pretty much. One positive, good. but Jack. Rocket League, Rocket League, as it as a brand, so that could okay. include Rocket okay, League racing. Brand. I think Rocket okay. League racing going into Fortnite will, yeah, it might have a great influx of view, uh, players short term and viewers like if it goes guys. to YouTube. Yeah, but I don't think it will be a long term. Thing. I think it'll be a very big flash in the pan. This is cool. Okay, it's not cool anymore. Definitely they, sure. I'm they don't sure. care, bro. They don't care that's, about Rocket League. Well, that's what I'm as saying. If it's in, if it's Rocket League Racing is in Rocket League, that's what I think is going to happen. But if it's in Fortnite, there's at least a chance that people care about it in well, a month. See, when when they you say that they know. they don't what care about no, Jack, when you say they name, don't name, care Jack. about Rocket League as a brand, they want to make money, which again, like is fine. That's absolutely okay to want to make money with a game that I you agree. make. I I don't think there's okay, anything wrong with that. People shill. are saying this is a this is a you know <laughs> crazy money grab. They just want to make money. I'm like, well, of course they do. They're a business, and that's how they can stay in operation. Um, and they need to make more money apparently because. Their costs are not working. They just had to fire 900 people. So yeah, they they need to make money, and if they're gonna make more money, putting it in Epic and put and you know, I I feel like if if it's or not in Epic, sorry, in Fortnite, if if, the, if it's gonna have like 50 to 100 times the player base having the chance of clicking on it compared to how many players actually play Rocket League, Rocket League Racing will probably be bigger than Rocket League. Okay. Yeah, as a, I agree. As a like, player, daily players, maybe there won't be an esports scene. Who knows? We have to wait and see. Is the game competitive in that maybe way? Maybe I'll go pro again. There could be an e maybe that's scene. why I want yeah. it, Jack. It could be. Maybe it's selfish. <laughs> maybe you know. I get a positive though. If uh, someone said in chat made a good point, I didn't really think about. It. So the whole they stopped trading because they wanted everyone's item. Like the the this is the article anyway. They wanted the items to transfer over and stuff. Everyone has like mm -hmm. locked items on their account. The biggest concern that we, again, this was a rumor about UE5, was that there's so many items and they've got to copy them all to UE5. Does this mean that they've been able to almost port it into UE5 then? I know it's in the Fortnite sort of thing, but I don't know. Getting all I, don't know. I don't know enough about I, games yet. Yeah. Does this mean that either. maybe if they launch the racing, we can get the items over there? Now they're like, okay, 
you know, that's going really well. Rocket League's kind of like, we'll leave that for a little bit. And now it's like, righto, let's get this thing on UE5, Rocket League 2. Bang! That's the next big thing. I can yeah, give you the, I can give you my assumption. What's that, What's, but what, what, if it's in Fortnite, you think it's, it's going to be in Fortnite, Jack? What, would that be? And this is why you think it's bad, because you think Rocket League Racing in Fortnite... That's going to be a hit, and then they're going to do the same thing with Rocket League to whatever it ends up being. If I it think, ends up being a thing, I think we'll see. Yeah, I think we'll see Rocket League be, being put into Fortnite. I do, and I don't think it's a good thing. And because, like, I understand the re like the reasoning of like, oh, but you're putting it into a bigger game that could definitely bring positives. But I, I, and I don't deny that it could, but I don't think it will because I think that there's a lot of value in a product being its own thing its own community even if it's a smaller community it's more authentic you you are more down to the roots of the game like we are right now we are we are the game but if it's mm -hmm. if it's put into fortnite fortnite is massive it will become even more of a second um project for for epic than we even think it is right now like i said earlier i don't think that people think mm. we've been kind of put aside by epic i don't think we have compared to what we will be I think my but prediction... if Rocket League, so if Rocket League's <laughs> making more money, why would they make? Why would they invest less, or why would they do less with it if they like put it into uh, yeah, Fortnite cursed. and there's like a creator? Because they, like Riza said, the well, I don't remember what it's called, the creator or something, is uh, like how they the creator program. Because listen to this, listen, right, so like, so this no, but is... hold on, hold on, hold on. we're yeah, going too fast, right, right. So if, if if like the creator program is working in Fortnite, that's what they want to do more of. So they're putting mm -hmm. Rocket League Racing in Fortnite creator program could do pretty well if that does well then they would want to invest in it because they're, they're they would want to do more to make more from what's working and then rocket league same same principle you're just copy pasting they they see what works and again i'm looking trying to look at this from their pov to understand what is happening here because i don't really understand what's happening it seems pretty random i think it's we're, good we're for reading epic. leaks i think it's good for epic yeah. but it, but before jack uh, goes on i want to just sorry. give a a little you're metaphor fine, you're fine. i feel like this is good i feel like this is what jack is imagining and what i've sort of pictured in my mind here because i like to you know i'm trying to paint the picture with jack's idea and what i'm seeing is I'm I'm picturing Agario, you know the game where you, you you're the big ball, okay. all right. And I feel like Fortnite is at we're like, we're like this, right? So this is yeah. where everyone watching. We're like this Fortnite, big ball, right? And we're kind of like the Rocket League racing. We're, you know, Fortnite's kind of absorbing us. Fortnite's getting bigger, but all of a sudden, where's this little Rocket League guy? He's not his own ball anymore. You know, we don't really have. We don't really, we've been yeah. consumed by the ecosystem, and now we are not an entity. I think that's what is it. Jack, is that is that a good sort yes. of? Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. And I, I want to quickly like Johnny. Yeah. Wait, or do you want to? Mm. You, did you have something? No, no, to no. Say? Yeah, yeah. So, go on. so you you brought the idea or the you know the um you know the reason for it is that you know Epic is a company they need to make more money, and that's true. Even if chat and I I completely agree with that. I do understand like people in chat saying, oh, but they have so much money, they have enough. Okay, yeah, but they <laughs> still they're still gonna have goals that they can they can. <laughs> And should tr I think try to get to that next level? I understand that, but yeah. that's th there's two ways to make money, right? It's and it's short term and and you know long term. I don't claim to be as all knowing and, and business like as Epic. I'm sure they have way better at that job than me. But for me, like if you can make money short term, yeah, they might make let's say a hundred million, just a random figure, right? Hundred million yeah. short term in two years, great. But that and and that, that will require little little effort, I think, for them. But if they really see the value in the game long term, in in ten years they can make three billion, let's say, you know. And that's that's yeah, it might take way more effort, and it might be a slower path to that. And within the first two years, they might not make as much as they would as going a short term plan. But I think it'll be more lucrative long term if they did a good job. But they won't. And they want to, I, I think, they want to make as much money as possible from it short term and forget about the game. I, but like I really, why, I think so, so. You're, in your world, do you think it would be better if Rocket League Racing was in Rocket League or its own se separate entity entirely, just as a, as I understand, I point, uh, what I you would yeah, rather have? Racing. Sorry? I don't want <laughs> Rocket League Racing. Yeah, I don't, this, is a, this is a problem in itself. I want Rocket League. I don't want this yeah. racing. My, my point, my main point is, is that I think that yeah, they want to make as much money as possible, but they're going about it in a very short-term way. And the way that that's going to end is they're going to make a ton of money from Rocket League, and it might be big within the next two years, whatever they're going to do with it. But I think with the current kind of, just the way they go about it, I, I don't think it will last after two years. I think the game will die. I think, 
I think I think we've seen you know the the height of it, and I think if they mm-hmm. if nothing changes, I do, I genuinely do. Like I, if, if if so, if there's I love, more I players, love how Jack it, is a doomsday. I'm sorry, I just had to throw it out there. I, no, I just and, love and it. I know, it's, and, it's, and, it's I, over. I'm throwing in the towel. No, I, I'm no, done. I know, and no, I know, and I know, and and it's rare for me to do that because I know how tiring it is for to listen to people that are just so negative. But I'm really negative about this because I care about the game a lot, and I I think that mm-hmm. it's not. The way they go, they're going about it, and it's even the little stuff, the little stuff about no, there's we have no communication, nothing. No, Chris. So that's that's a separate issue. So no communication I don't is think obviously, it's in my opinion, issue. a bad. But I, I think it's a separate thing because it's something that's been criticised since the beginning of time with Rocket League. That's always been as it got worse. Though. Bad communication. Um, there's been times like over As, the years well, where now it's, it's really like, bad bad no, good, it's, like, it's like normal better, bad yeah, again. it's like it's normal like, better it's like normal, a wave, back to you know? normal. now we're down to like you know okay there's no communication i mean oh, you guys again, have been in you, know? you guys have been in the scene far longer than me but i would and i don't well I, i'm kind of doubting it now by saying this but i i i mean i don't doubt you guys but like there's no way that it's it's been worse it's, than oh, it it's, is it's right been, now. well in different ways, and it's sometimes sometimes just I'll, like this. I'll yes, it's been very story. bad. No, it's, it has it's not been, been worse been... for a player. I, I don't think. Well, okay. No, for, no, for, no, are you, are you talking so about sure specifically? About that, CJ. Are you speaking about specifically esports, like or everything? Oh, like, I'm, I think League. Jack's talking about like just trying to Every, like players yeah, trying to bit, talk. Yeah, I'm going on a bit of a time like it's going more into esports. But I think I think we have very small, very low communication with the game as well. Yeah, well, I, everything, I, but like, I've never, I, I, I don't know, like, there's, this has been criticized so many times, and I think, you know, for now, for it to be happening again, I'm not too surprised, because, uh, so, like, I assume so many people just got let go, um, uh, out of, like, 900 at Epic uh, let go, that has to be a fair amount of Psyonix employees, I don't know if the number was um, announced, but, yeah, they probably got a lot to, to do right now, and a lot to figure out, and do I think that communicating zero is the way, the right thing to do? No, I don't, I, I think that's a bad thing, but, um, you know, to figure out what it, the correct thing is to communicate, it does take time and effort, and they've probably just decided that's not worth doing, or something they don't want to invest time into, or they don't have somebody to figure out how do we do this properly. Um, because it, yeah, if they, one of the things I know about uh, all that's been very consistent, and I'm sure our viewers and listeners who have been in the scene for a long, long time since it's pretty much a start, uh, like myself, will know that. There's never rarely bad news communicated. I feel like they will always want to wait until there's good news before they tell us anything. So if there's bad news or news they might think the community interprets as bad news, they'd just rather say nothing, um, in my experience, sure. uh, than tell us the bad news. Which actually I'd prefer to know the bad news. Me, I'm like, no, just tell us how it is. Yeah. Tell us what's happening. Maybe we can help. Maybe we can do something. Um, but they they usually have a track record of not saying bad news. So I have to imagine there's something, you know bad going on or something not good going on that they don't want to tell us about or just something that's like okay we haven't figured this out yet and i don't know what it is because i'm not in you know those conversations but i have to assume it's something that they you know well, you haven't sort of see got their heads them, around with like the the scent not like obviously we had the layoffs right so if you look at you look at the timeline it doesn't look good for rocket league with like what's happened obviously we had like the epic layoffs into like the sonics team being gutted into like merging with epic into you know, but but not only just that, but for me, it was sort of like the sentiment, not from just from the people that got laid off at Sonix, but also the people that were still there. Obviously, you're like, we're re- reading between the lines with some tweets and stuff like that, but it was kind of like, like, oh boy, like <laughs> this is, whew, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly like, oh, no, the, we'll the employees okay, were tweeting know. that it wasn't like at all even cryptic. There was multiple Sonix employees tweeting yeah, things who, like, who this was, is really hard right now. This yeah. is tough. A tough week and it will always be a tough week if people that you work with and have worked with are getting laid off and like the, the things are things like that are happening it's never fun mm. but uh yeah the sentiment i totally agree came across as like yeah it doesn't seem like they're having a lot of fun with uh you know it the, the people dark. tweeting and, and, from and, HQ. And, and i think that like kind of goes back to all that like if they are tweet, that, that is nothing that there's nothing, there's no leak. They've tweeted that, and that you can directly, you know, infer from that that they don't have, you know, the pa- Sonics don't have the powers that they once did. I mean, we can, t- yeah. we can just tell because Epic are just a hundred times a bigger company, right? Well, so they like, bought them, yes. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, they're they're just, in just, charge. they are, they are in charge, but like, they, but I, I just don't think we're going, I don't think we're going in the right direction. I, I don't, I don't think the people that are in charge of the game actually care about the game. As much as the people who, who you know, once did. 
Mm-hmm. at all but so or, so your uh kind of you know doomsday view is more to do with the reading between the lines and the attitude towards i the don't game? think i don't think we have i i just see like i just i mean i could i hope i'm wrong but i just it's just everything like you can't you can't truly like believe that you you, you don't see that that they just don't care i there's don't know well, all, no all i'm saying care. is that- all I'm saying is I don't think that inherently Rocket League racing being on Fortnite is a bad thing. I don't think that that is like that is all oh, this is bad. We should all be if, like disagreeing with this. It's like something that's not really, as far as I can remember, been done. Like I would uh, say, right? I would taking say an that, IP and putting it in a different IP and saying, I, I okay, say let's that, see this bigger one. Let's expose this audience to this completely yeah. different IP. Uh, has that happened before? I don't know if it has. I, I, I don't know. I would say that I'm I'm I, I'm fine with like I'm actually fine with that kind of like I could see why that would be a good thing. But I, my main point is, and why I'm so negative about that one specific thing, is that I think it shows that their main concern with or their their main aim with Rocket League isn't in, in isn't in the actual game's best interest. It's in Fortnite's best interest, and that that doesn't mean they won't be successful on Fortnite. I think it will go down a very different path to what we are seeing and what the, our community actually wants. Now, is that a positive in the long term? Yeah, but I'm a selfish guy because I'm, I'm, I like our game. I, d- I love our game. I want it to change for the better. Yeah. But I don't want it to change its core concept. And I think it will. It sounds to me and like that, you're a greedy pro player. I, I and you am. You just want Rizzo. everything for yourself. Look, think about we're the, all think greedy. Think about the yeah. content creators for once. Hey, I'm going to be in there in about a year's time, Rizzo. <laughs> as far as, as, as long as, you know. As, are you 23? 23 is retirement age, buddy. I'm 20, mate. And that oh, is great. Oh, damn. I may as well, like, yeah. Let me let me hop on Jack's side for a second. And I, I'm the boss of Epic, right? And I'm thinking, like, obviously Epic landed on a gold mine with Fortnite because the kids can jump in. It is so easy to play. Crazy game. You know, little, little kids can jump. You know, you can be four years old and play it on a Switch or something. You play it on your phone. And I'm thinking, right, here's Rocket League. What is the core money spinner of Rocket League? It's items. So let's make sure we get those bad boys over here. We're going to get items. But, you know, the actual game itself... A little bit tricky for the little 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 tackers. What's a really simple thing? Let's get some rails on it and let's get a racing game. These kids can still unbox all their items. They can still pay for all the crates that they want. That's the money. That's what we're getting. Mum's credit card. But we 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 don't have to you know hit triple flip resets for these three year olds. They can hold hold accelerate holding and steer. accelerate and yep. steer, and they can get all the items. They can customize. It actually just sounds, oh it just sounds like Trackmania without the items. Oh my goodness! It's Basically, so good. I think that they've realised that you know Rocket League's pretty hard, but it's actually a really cool because the items clearly like the, the Epic's gone. Holy crap! Like people really spend a lot of money on these items. Like they're, clearly there's something in this. Let's port this over to what we've got over here, where we're already you know a money spinner for in-game items and just make it a little bit of a simpler game easy to pick up and play looks nice for the kiddies you know oh mum, i'm playing a racing yeah. game <laughs> no worries in this, in this this yeah, look look but like, the question isn't if we think it's i mean it might be i might have got the question wrong but the question i don't think it's is it a good idea in terms of like making rocket league racing a good game but like do you do you think that's a good thing for no, I don't. I just think that's what Epic are thinking. Like, this is a we uh, yeah, can turn uh, this into a serious money spinner. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. I'm sure they could, but I think that's very short term. Yeah, and that, that might yeah. be their plan. And if it is, good luck. And uh, you know, I won't be like, I don't know. I don't think a lot of the current cr- content creators will be a part of the game if that goes, if it goes the way it is. I mean, I don't think like. Wait, are you saying I if like Rocket League racing goes well, the content creators won't be a part of Rocket League? Is that what you're no, saying? No, sorry, I just I. I I mean, maybe I'm just getting myself mixed up, but like, I'm just saying that I, I. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are we? Hello. He's, he's, he's still talking. Jack, you muted Jack, bro, your, your you... mic exploded or something. Jack, he said, I, "He said, I'm just saying what I'm saying I'm is." Just saying, saying, I'm just saying that. I'm my computer died. <laughs> I thought my thing died. I was yeah, like, "No, so the did... stream." I was like, was that me? Oh. I think your mixer might have exploded Epic or something. Epic Cutty's mic. Oh, no. <laughs> Epic Games got Epic him. Epic got him. They got him Epic off. Epic got him. Jack, are you back? They're like, he's speaking no, too can, much sense. No, we cannot hear you. He's got like, he's like, hold on, he's about to drop the bomb. <laughs> Mute him. Oh, my God. That's too funny. Uh, Jack, it sounded more like it wasn't a Discord thing. It sounded like hardware. It was like a, yeah, you know, yeah. It's like a cut. Yeah, we can like hear a like cut. some. 
cable or something like that. Yeah, you can maybe you something's on fire can or <laughs> yeah. Can, can you just apologize to Epic Games first and then unplug plug back in your microphone if you can? That is so funny. Maybe so whatever you do, don't leave the camera. It might be unsafe. Like you're, yeah, please stay <laughs> we within need... this box that we've got you here. Yeah, also, maybe like clear your fringe out your forehead so we can see if there's a red dot. Like right now, we can't see anything. We need to make sure that. You... <laughs> I want me to speak. This has never happened until he decided he was about to go in. He was about yeah, to go. Yeah. In. He comes back and he's like, "This is like fucking this. communication <laughs> gone." <laughs> Oh, that's insane. That's hilarious. Well, 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 well Jack tries to figure, what were we talking figure about? it out. I got so distracted. What were we talking about? Oh, Jack was just about to drop the truth. Oh, like, yeah, he was. was. <laughs> he was just oh, about to drop the truth. But my, so my, uh, no, you can't hear you, Jack, if you're trying to talk we'll to us. We'll let you so, know like, when you're back. You, you'll be able to <laughs> tell you. Just keep, no. keep, keep intermittently testing. Try, we'll, a, we'll try a mix or restart. Like, try to reset your app or whatever. Oh, yeah, for, for, for sound and stuff like this, it might be a full PC restart. If that doesn't work, it's like, I don't know. Sound is the worst. But yeah, I was gonna say. So, but yeah, to to uh, to give us another question, or to get you to get your guys takes Wait. another question. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, back! Yeah, he's back! Yeah, Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Yes. Drop the truth. It. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't forget what you were gonna say, because we have been on the edge of our seat for a bit. <laughs> what was I talking about, man? Oh no. Well, you were... I I just said you know it's the money chat, spin chat out, reminder, but it's not good long term. You said it's only short term, and then you said what do you what, what did you start? What? You're like so. Here's let's, the let's, thing. Let's give him the lead in line. What was it? God, I've said so much. I don't. Even, I'm I don't just even saying. Oh, so, yeah. Here's the clip. You there said, it is. Like, I, can't, me... I don't want to listen to that. Can I, do I have to listen back? You said like let let me say something. I don't know what he said. We're waiting for really? something. Did, did it cut off that early? Was I like going off? And it, yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. We left it for a bit. We were all having a good laugh. Yeah, we we're like, is that there really just happening? I was there. like, I was like, I was in you my room and I looked at chat and I looked at chat and everyone was laughing. I was like, no, what have I said. <laughs> So Rizzo asked you, do you just think that if this happens, content creators won't be a part of Rocket League? Right. Yeah. Okay. This isn't going to be as good of an answer as I have, but like, I, I can't remember. Uh, fuck. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, that's right. Oh, wait. Yeah. We're on Rizzo's channel. Um, what was it? No. So like, I, I don't, so I just think with the current, the, the current, like kind of the way the game is going. I, I think less and less attention will be given to Rocket League. And I think that will put off a lot of the games, current pro players and, and, and creators. But if, if I had to kind of have a prediction, I, I predict that RCS will, in, in about two seasons, I, don't, I, I think RCS will get smaller in two, seasons, in two seasons' time. And I think the game will start to get smaller. But what, what would the reason be? What would the reason be because for that? What's because smaller Epic, in what way? Because Epic want to maximize, I think they will want to maximize like their just just their profits. I think they want to make as much money as they can from the game, um, short term, and and then I think move on from it. I don't. I I there is nothing that shows me that they see a future in Rocket League. What have they done? Well, well when you say Rocket League, Rocket League the game or the uh, yes, the esport because uh, I think like well, the esport is another thing with uh, Epic and Fortnite. Fortnite's first like two years ago in esport was massive. Then they downsized it. Then they downsized it again. So that's like a clear downward trajectory because they tried just dumping a hundred million at it, didn't work. So now they're like, okay, let's work that backwards. And we don't know what like is that trajectory going to continue like downwards until they you know just got the esports scene uh, completely or is it are they going to find like a stable this is what works where the investment makes sense i don't know but like the esport has to make sense you've actually you know correctly said many times jack the esports doesn't make sense you know orgs are spending all this money and uh investors are investing all this money and they're not going to get the money back because yeah. uh, you know it, it, there, there's just no way to recoup that money with the current system and that has to be the the viewpoint of all of these you know big companies from here if uh, like Rizzo mentioned the main profitability is coming from creator stuff not esports and esports is like essentially an advert for the game then yeah it makes sense that they would move money away from that um uh, as a developer because rlcs is developer run it's run by psionics epic uh, always has been but the hell am i listening to bro? <laughs> what are the who, wait who is that from <laughs> You guys know those little springs that, like, on the back of doors? Uh huh. Yeah. I think uh, the dog just hit it. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Oh, wait, you let one that... rip. 
That's why you have an open plan house. I just think I just think you didn't know that that was gonna activate yeah. the microphone. Like, <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I, you just thought you could sneak one out there. Just kept going though. You just uh, he rode yeah, it but, out. I don't. Yeah, mind but that point is was it was like, The gates were open. That was like, that's the classic. Yeah, you blame the dog. That's literally just the classic. That's a great that's excuse happened. of the little door thing. Oh, that's a phenomenal excuse. I'm going to need to Drinks remember that. Drinks two Coronas yeah. and he gets a little bit gassy. It Wait, that was a fart? That does make sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, well, I, well I don't know if there was a little bit extra at the end, but I mean, it, it started as a fart, but... Uh, but okay, so, so I, I know that Riz is trying to uh, derail this with... Uh, uh, techniques. Oh, he's, he's back at it again, straight back in the Corona, which is full of gas. But uh, so you know, if if esports isn't bringing in enough views or isn't bringing in enough uh, interest in the, a game, uh, should should a developer invest in it? Like, should they? You know, it, it just a straight up like. Yeah, I question. mean, like, probably can, not. But sorry to cut you off, gone. No, yeah, I was just gonna say as a as a like uh, an idea because you can't expect a developer to just pump money into an esport if they don't think that it's either currently making that money back or turning viewers into longer term fans of the game to eventually recoup that money right it's like an, it's like a bit of an investment a bit of a way to generate money that's what esports says when a developer runs it when a t when a company like external runs it that's a different thing entirely they're trying to get ad revenue they're trying to get you know they're trying to get views make videos that get views and so on and so on but uh, is that like the angle for you, Jack? The esport is that what you're passionate about, or is it just the game? Like just the game itself? I want it to be a separate entity, not um, a Fortnite mini game. I think I'm very passionate about the esport, obviously, because I'm a, I'm a pro player, you know. So I think yeah, there's probably a bit of kind of, but not bias, but just kind of you know, you know, not understand it or like you know, I understand their kind of path, but I'm not happy with it. Yeah, and and I do think that a little bit is. Coming from my side as a pro player, yeah, and it might be a lucrative thing or just a good thing in general that they get rid of, you know, RCS because if it doesn't turn profit, you know, making make profits, then it might may as well not. I don't know, you know, I have no idea about the numbers behind it. But yeah, it could be a, a thing that they're planning on doing. I think that it is. I, that's that's yeah, I predict that it is because I don't think RCS makes money i don't even know if it pushes well i don't think it'll make like direct you know the I don't, sponsorships I don't even know if they it'll... get the ad revenue they get the the money they get from actually running it the direct money probably not as much as it costs but then obviously there's the 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 advertisement element of it like it's making people interested in playing the game like uh i'm sure you ever isn't it doesn't take any uh persuading to tell people that you know you sometimes you watch a game and you're like i'm gonna play that game you know i'm, just I'm sure that, i don't, I don't know everybody relates to, to that it up like with, yeah, with like worlds like worlds goes on and i'm sure they have a a bump in a, like player base the same thing with yeah, like, league of Legends. Have, like, every time worlds metrics. happens like i'm hopping on i'm gonna play some league i'm gonna mm -hmm. play some aram yeah. but i'm gonna play you know i'm gonna hop on yeah so there's some there's some metric that they can track or like you know earnings through like the the shop in that time there's esports shop as well there are lots of ways that they can make money and uh, you know that that does create like a different type of uh you know a serious player in the game like you're you're making money as in a game like this from the mostly the the players who are invested in the game playing a lot of it they want to like buy something in the shop or you know in the past open a crate that's not going to happen if you just have a player dipping in for, like you said, Jack, 10 games and leaving. Uh, it's not as, not as often, at least. So esports does that. It makes people passionate about the game um, long time and more likely to invest actual money into it. So it's, it, it has to make sense financially in order for it to continue. And esports probably doesn't, in many cases, make sense financially. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Hopeful, hopefully there's like a way... Uh, well, I mean, I, I have no idea what the numbers are, but yeah, hopefully... There's a way that they, you know, have planned for esports to to make more sense with this. Uh, you know, if, if that's the track they're going down, again, I have no idea if there is. Don't know if they care about. I don't know if Epic care about esports with uh, what they're doing to Fortnite esports. Do you guys yeah, follow I, Fortnite esports at all? Like, I closely? just know that it's getting downsized and downsized, right? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, but all, gonna, yeah. Gonna, you're right. Is that, is that what's happening? Yes, but at the same time, they started at a hundred million dollar. Hundred yeah. million. Yeah. yeah. They, but, but for that's a year. Not, they, but that's they had like, I, yeah, we're gone. But I don't think that's a that's a good reasoning for it being downsized. I think that just shows poor decision making on you know on, yeah. on these, these and decisions. I think, I think they learned Agreed. their lesson yeah. and they had yeah. to go down because of the, like they started at 100 million. I think like the prize for the season is like 
three million? I don't even. I don't even know. Actually, maybe they thought uh, they, they, right they had to have thought that if we put a hundred million into Fortnite, every like twelve year old, like all these kids are gonna want to be a Fortnite pro because they're gonna see how much money you can make. So everybody's gonna play Fortnite. The player base is gonna like exponentially increase. And it's what just was that a bad decision? More. Though? Fortnite yeah. Championship yeah. Series, Globe ten million. News. Did 10, the player like base that. go down? Did it? Well, did it? Did it increase? It didn't increase from the. Maybe it did from the uh, the hundred mil. I don't know. But but the Fortnite's smaller now than it was then, right? You know, no. Okay, yes, it was. But because Fortnite had a big boom. But people keep saying this yeah. as well. Like Fortnite is dying. Fortnite is dying. Fortnite is is doing well. It's alive. It's like I mean, even from the list Johnny just showed, it's like the top three most popular online yes, games. Like, it is the most like consistent. Minecraft. Yes, <laughs> it is the most consistent like player base. Same thing with Rocket League. People have been saying for eight years straight, Rocket League is dying. Rocket League is dying. Rocket League is dying. To be fair, at this moment, Jack's case actually has like a or Jack Jack has actually, actually has a good point. Like this time around, when he says like he thinks the Rocket League Pro scene is going to be like uh, a lot less like money wise in like two years because. You know, the whole the whole world essentially is in like a bad financial state. And so it's harder, you know, that's why the companies have to do layoffs because it's harder to consistently employ people ah. when you're borrowing or no. when you're not borrowing money at a cheaper rate. Like now, I don't want to get into the whole thing with us, but like, you know, it's more expensive to borrow money essentially. So companies can't grow as quickly. Um, and so people have like companies have to do layoffs and stuff like that. It's just harder to maintain the growth in the in the current environment so jack has a good point with like the the mm. esport might go down a little bit but that's the thing is like there's always there's always waves there's always you know it, it goes up it goes down stuff like that and it'll happen to every single business you know it's not just like a, it's not just like an esports thing it's not just like an epics thing it's a entire world thing oh, well, okay what yeah, if, but, what if the on. player base can increase like a uh, hype the pure this is going like very down the rabbit hole uh, uh like on a on one rumor about rocket league racing being in fortnite but if so if rocket league 2 and uh, unreal 5 follows the footsteps and is just a game mode in rocket league like many of uh, the rocket league scene are fearing what if that increases the player base by like double and now double the people are clicking the esports button to watch RLCS. The viewership goes up by a significant margin. I think Ad they'd... revenue is higher. Return on investment is higher. Like it could be no. bigger like no in some less. ways, but the identity of the game as a game within another game is obviously what well, I think. Does the, it make the, you want to watch point. Rocket League though? It's a, like a race. It's not a racing. You know what I mean? Like it's a racing game. I know it's like still Rocket League cars and stuff. But no, I'm saying like really... Rocket League. If they release like the the same game Rocket League but in Unreal Five. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like the you know the whole Rocket League Two Unreal Five rumor. If yeah, that yeah. followed the footsteps of Rocket League Racing, um, the well, the the you know the rumor of that being, uh, in... I think. Fortnite. with like with with like the current environment right with with anything if, if rocket league were to like double its player base because of rocket league racing and they saw like immediate success they would be cautious they would be optimistic but cautious with like growing their esport because one epic did it with a hundred million dollar prize pool right off the bat they knew they overextended themselves and they cut back extremely quickly and even right now with like you know high interest rates and it's expensive to borrow money um they would just be cautious to actually like put the money forward until they were in a better situation essentially that's yeah no that's well, i'm not suggesting more i'm not suggesting more investment what if the investment in rock league esports stays exactly the same um but now there are double like double of years because there's more people click through clicking through the game more people playing the actual base game um because of the exposure it would get by being put in front of you know what, what was it we calculate 50 to 100 times as many people like I don't think it would be as you know uh, the the idea is kind of scary obviously for Rocket League people because right now it's just its own separate thing. It's an indie game off over here. We're doing our own thing. Nobody bothering us. Um, and then now, you know now you're just a mini game. Doesn't sound too you know too it exciting. It loses all of its authenticity. It loses all of it. Yeah, I think it is. It's like a slap in the face to the community. I think the hardcore community. It is well, okay, like what, 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 what number of like you know increased viewership would need to be there for, in order for people to be like, you know what, actually it's fine. I don't mind it anymore. <laughs> we have 10, 10x of viewers instead of I 500, think, 000 I think watching if the grand, just, grand, if grand they finals. Just beat the million. record. If, they, I if they beat the record, did they just hit the record in this world championship? Mm. Did they? So if they beat that, I feel like people would just be like, oh well, maybe it wasn't that bad of an idea. But, 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 that, that, but we're, we're, this is such work. a huge like that's if nothing changes and if things actually just get better with the game 
Well, no, if, we're saying if nothing changes with the eSport, if they're just like, you know what, this amount of investment is fine. But is that a, a, do you think that, is that like a, a it, is that an actual like, thought that, that could happen? Because I don't think it is. Well, it all depends. I have no idea, like I said. I what, like, we, don't, we don't know that until we see things like prize pool decreasing. Like a, or like, a, you know, something uh, changing that would suggest, okay, there's a lot less investment yeah. in, <laughs> in this a aspect. This is all. This is game. all off. This whole conversation is all based off of a leak, by the way, or like. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Rumor. Very so down the happens. rabbit hole. What if none of this happens? <laughs> we're doing, we're going very down the rabbit hole. Then they just put Rocket League racing in Rocket League. We're like, well, okay then. <laughs> what we didn't like talk about though is the fact that not only did they announce the trading, but then like the five tweets afterwards have all been like, "Hey, you seen this item? Like, we oh, haven't got an explanation." God. I know that Johnny sort of. Um, alluded to the fact that they don't like sharing bad news. They only like they don't know, like sharing no any news, news. CJ. They don't, yeah, but like they shared some bad news in the trading. There's no real. They didn't really say there's a positive to it. You know, it was just kind of like trading December five or whatever it was. It's gone, um, and they didn't really announce anything like like any yeah. reasoning they, no any why, yeah. they basically any why. no Nothing. they posted like here's the article to explain it a little bit further and there was like no explanation in the article and then they're like cj said wait how many i'm, I'm gonna count this real quick oh my god i have to keep <laughs> scrolling what the hell when did they announce this am i too far uh oh there it is here it is it was like so i found ago, it so weeks. then yeah after they announced rocket league trading is going to be removed player to player trading they had a couple tweets. The first one, NFL fan pass, uh, buy it in the shop. Nice. Nothing to fear, A uh, an ad for the shop. Uh, Pumpkin King in the shop, by the way. Ghosts and Ghouls in the shop, that's four. Uh, Master of Fright, that's five. Pumpkin King, also in the shop. Uh, sensing something, uh, something in the shop. Six, seven, eight. Eight announcements about what's in their shop, and they haven't taken a second to explain what the hell is happening with player-to-player -player trading. And people are only assuming everything about Rocket League Racing because of a leak that is supposedly on November 3rd, or unless that date was wrong, it's supposed to be December 3rd. I don't know. November 3rd Wait, is when... November 3rd. So no, that's like November 3rd three days. is the Fortnite update where people think it's going into the update. But um, December well, 3rd well, was well. something else. Like December 3rd was the initial thing. And I think November 3rd might have been a typo. I don't know. But either way, it's in a month, basically. Supposedly. Hmm. So it's not good news, like you know, like he, they just ignored it. As Jack it. said, but like as Jack said, yeah, like do they care? Like that's like they don't. Step they one don't. Is they don't. We need. Well, it's like, know, do you remember the, when, uh, when they removed the ability to see how many players are playing the game and they changed it to good, great, amazing, and everybody can play and like give it back? They said nothing, and then eventually nobody's. People uh, forgot. It's just a meme. It's a meme now. I mean, that's a very common strategy. You know, if if you're taking away something for a reason that either cannot currently be shared because it would just, like leak a uh, future plan or just isn't going to be something the community is too keen on in the first place. Saying nothing is a very common strategy because eventually people, they're, like the viewers, people are going to stop complaining and it'll just be a meme. Like, and it does work. Like, as, 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 as I'm sad to say, but it definitely does work. Like, nobody's complaining anytime they open Rock League. Go, oh man, I wish I, I knew how many players are in the game. It just says amazing. Eventually, people actually do stop caring. So uh, that's why they don't do that. That's why they didn't explain why they're doing that. Is because they know eventually it won't matter. It'll pass. Yeah, but that's, we'll another that's a very. I think that's a very slippery kind of slope to to go down. Like I think that can work a lot if you're doing you know little insignificant changes that realistically aren't the biggest of deals. Like you said, removing mm -hmm. the the ability to see how many players are in you know a queue. That's really like. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal. I'm just but saying the strategy is the same. They didn't reply to that yeah. and they didn't reply to this. It's the same idea from their POV. Yeah, I yeah. promise you it's the same idea. They're like, let's just say nothing because uh, if we like tweet about it, it'll gain more traction. More people will be annoyed about it. So they're just not what they're trying to minimize. Like, you know, they I, they didn't even put it out on the main Twitter. They put it out on what is it, Rock League support Twitter? It's, clearly, yeah, they're yeah, trying to, clearly they're trying to like do their, you know, do their uh, homework. They're, yeah, they're trying to like inform oh, but not promote. They don't want to make this like a big thing. Like, hey guys, that's this why, is why I, I want to say we told this. It was a that's why I was having yeah. a hard time finding it because a retweet from RL underscore status. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So like they don't, account, want, I don't even they don't want they don't want to account. they don't want to talk about it anymore. Like there will be nothing. There will be there will be no update. We shouldn't expect an update on that because why would they do it? In their view, 
they and again i'm not happy about it but this is the facts like they know if they tweet about it again if they talk about it again more people will know more people will complain so they're just not going to do it they're, but if it was good news good. then they'd say like but stay tuned for an exciting announcement like if it, if it really is because of what this article that we're really going on about is <laughs> the fact something. that well they can't trade because of the race rocket league racing surely that, you, even though it's not out they'd say but stay tuned for an yes, exciting thing exactly. the only yeah. reason that they haven't said anything i feel like is because it's what we first thought in that they don't like people trading because it's not getting like they're not getting yeah. paid money for it is it is, so is it just less lucrative you think because i don't trade really but you think it's just like less people are buying one and swapping it instead of like, they don't have control. Money. like yeah. they, they want control of the market right like, uh -huh. Yeah, they don't have. Well, it said they wanted to align with Fortnite, where they don't have trading. You have to buy from the shop. Yeah, um, you know. Has Fortnite ever had trading, thing. or just never? No, no. no. You can gift items. So, so I have to imagine that they probably just looked at the you know player to sales ratio from both, and they're like, we make more more when trading isn't there, so let's remove trading. Like it's hard. It's, it's like harsh of a real reality it is. You know, if they're making more money doing that, and they Again, think that the, the, if they think that the like pushback from the community will not be sufficient for it to like imagine like half the player base quit because trading is removed that would be very bad you're losing a lot of money there but if half the player base isn't going to quit they've calculated this then yeah i can see why they would do that because they're going to so make again, more money that's very short term like that's very short term like minded like that's that's super short sighted because yeah you might not have half the player base instantly quit in the game but we i think we're heavily underestimating the effect that um the how how these decisions can affect like how much people how much the current player base enjoys the game and we're i think mm -hmm. we're underestimating the effect that that can have on sales long term and has on the effect on, on the overall kind of um layout of the game long term because if, if people start enjoying the game less and less and aren't happy with the decisions that are being made yeah they may not may not quit within the first week of a big decision like trading being removed they may not quit instantly, mm. but if that affects their morale to play the game by twenty percent, and another decision, this will all—it's—it's it's all long term, and it will just ruin the game. It will ruin but the do play you, base. Do you th is there another example of this happening, like a game with trading removing trading? Is there any other game that's done this? Because Rocket League had crates and they removed crates, I believe, because it was that mostly legal. Um, I know in like Europe, some yeah, countries were starting to crack down on the gambling element of crates, so. Um, they, I think that probably was tied into that somewhat. Trading yeah. is not like that, so it's nothing. It's not the same reason. But is is there maybe if anyone in I chat knows, think, has I another game done think, that? But we don't even have to look at games. We don't have to limit <laughs> our kind of scope to looking at if a game has done that. It's just how how do you know businesses operate? If you make decisions that will that that clearly negatively in you know affect the product and the overall like how people enjoy the products and how people view it. That is just a negative thing. We just see, you see that time and time again with just general things and, you know, in other industries, you don't even have to look at games. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you are playing with the people's like, um, what they lo like about the actual products and what they really love about the game, even if you might make a few, you know, even if you might, you know, increase profits by 7%, yeah, you might take more money in, but that's not a good thing. You know, I think if like, they just it's make like a if you, would but you that's pay like, I, prices, people won't sorry, be as uh, mad. would you pay your, your you know, let's say Johnny, you know, a, a content creator makes 10, uh, 50,000 a year, right? If they, they make mm -hmm. 50,000, they make 50,000 one go. Would you pay, uh, would that content creator pay 7% of that, of their sales to increase the, how much the viewers enjoy their content? They would. But this this is the opposite approach. They're taking slightly, in, you know, they're taking in slightly more sales, but they're clearly going to negatively affect the player base's view of the game and the enjoyment they get out of it. It's clear mm. we see the outburst, we see the negative reaction. People aren't doing that just to hate on Sonic or hate on Epic because I do understand that a lot of people have the image that people just you know hate for no reason. I'm sure they do sometimes, but people are complaining for a reason. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people are saying that you know it's a real money element, but obviously accounts can still be sold, so it's not entirely like fixing that. I guess if that's something they identify as a problem, um, so it's not like a you know checkmate. That's the reason, um, problem solved. But I I don't know. I, I I feel like it's just as speculative to say removing trading is going to negatively affect the game with you know player base viewership numbers and content, which will affect player base revenue gain because of player base declining. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's just as speculative to say that 
as it is to say actually removing trading is going to increase the player base because now people are going to have like cheaper things than they can like trying to buy like a really really expensive item very expensive via trading or think, like trying um, to get it via luck compared to like the shop i don't know like it's 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 speculation unless we have an example of a game doing this and had then rapidly declining somebody said in chat fifa removed trading in fifa 15 i didn't play fifa around about that time but was it was there any impact in trading in fifa at that time for uh trading. for trading i think the, what, i think the mean? thing you is put, with like uh you said i'm like just reading a chat, a chat comment i didn't know that removing yeah, somebody said is like fifa removed trading in 2015 i don't know if that's true i'm just like reading comment. i asked chat like did any other game the transfer market isn't it I mean, anyway, I'm, I'm yeah. confused. Yeah, I don't. I just asked Chat, did any other game remove trading like Rocket um, Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think. I'm I'm clearly forgetting yeah. something, but I don't remember. Not true, says Trade? Verizon. I no, I didn't. Okay, somebody's yeah, just like uh, waffling. Can I say but something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah go you on. can say something on your okay. own podcast. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, I think you know you, you're mentioning how like maybe. Thank you, CJ. I think you're mentioning how like maybe it's a short term. How like Rocket League is removing trading. But maybe it's like a long-term move and, and, and like obviously the community is going to be pissed now but i think like obviously you know they've done every company does this where they do something really shitty and then three months goes by and basically everybody forgets about it and they're like well i kind of need this anyway and like most people will just end up buying something anyway you know probably not cosmetics and rock like but i'm thinking about like adobe products when they went to like a subscription model or some shit like that right we're like they'll do something shitty and then people will be like i need this anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so maybe removing trading is actually like a long-term move they'll piss off the community right now but they think mm. they can regain a new community essentially in the future that's probably bigger and it's going to increase the revenue like you said if increased profits seven percent or whatever random number um and they can keep doing that they're going to see that as a dub they're going to see that as a, you, a good long-term move for them do you like that do i like that or look I, I think they because i can yeah, because sorry to cut you off, but I can I can see why they're doing it. But do you like that? Do you think that will affect you positively, Jack? Look, I'm be I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. I have played this game for eight years. Okay, <laughs> eight, eight years. I think I don't even know at this point. I've yeah, lost, yeah. I've lost my out, I've lost my mental. You. Okay, at this point, Rocket League. Yeah, that's fa that's fair. Like, no, okay. Let, let, let me get into it. Let me get into it. <clears throat> Rock, Rocket League has been great. I love Rocket League. But at the same time, I would love Rocket League Racing to be an absolute success in Fortnite uh, or in Rocket League, doesn't even matter. But the fact that it's a new game is all that matters to me because it's actually an update of something that I am or was, you know, a part of. And I can convert my content into that potentially if I enjoy it, if I like it, and if other people like it. That is like them removing trading is horrible for the community. And I understand that. And I get that. I'm still excited for them to release Rocket League Racing. And that's why I don't really care if it's in Fortnite or if it's in Rocket League. Because I think, realistically, as a business of their magnitude, I think they're, they are going to make a correct long-term decision. Sometimes people get it wrong. It happens. But realistically, they, th they, did, they made a decision that they think is better for them long-term. And if that harms Rocket League in the future... I don't see that affecting me personally because I don't have a outlook of me being in the Rocket League scene in 10 years. You know what I mean? So like, to me, it doesn't personally affect me, I guess. I'm excited for Rocket League Racing because it's something new and I've been waiting for an update for this game for about seven or eight years. Uh, and I'm excited to have that actually be a thing. But to answer your question, yes, them removing trading is shitty. That wasn't my question. <laughs> yeah, said, do, you, do you like it like uh, but yeah the answer to your to jack's question was yeah, you don't yeah, really yeah. care about no, it think, that much that deeply i, I do I, do i, I like believe, it i believe in the game do i, I like it so i don't much. trade so i don't care i i meant i meant just the every, i don't know what i meant but I, my point my, i just believe in in the actual core concept of rocket league so much like i think we have a complete if your goal is to make money if epic's goal is to make yeah. money i think they're sat on a gold mine mm -hmm. Yeah, but, we, yeah, definitely. They're not, they, I, don't, I don't think they are, or I don't think it has been gone about in the right direction, or, or I don't think it will. And I'm, I don't, you know, I would do a worse job than them. I'm, you know, we're, and probably everyone here in this call and in, in chat would as well, because we're not as smart as the people who are actually run, you know, Epic are probably for, in terms of games, because they, they will know far more. 
but they can make bad decisions, even if they are you know way more knowledgeable about it than us. And I think they are. I think they are making I, a bad decision. I think that like obviously Rizzo, you've got your <laughs> own, you know, you got your own little angle on it. But I think for like I think for me personally, I like I see this as like just a, an equivalent to a regular sport, right? And I think that mm. you know whether I enjoy playing it, I still enjoy watching it at the highest level. You know, it's kind of like. It, it, for me, it's kind of like if you like, I'm I'm looking at purely from the esport angle, I guess you know the highest level of playing the sport. But it's sort of like if football or soccer suddenly was like, you know what, we're gonna come out with a little, it's like like a one like one on one little freestyle competition, and then all the guys that are like were big at soccer, like oh cool, I can still, you know, your anger is always like oh I can you know, make content on that. But I'm still like, but what about the purity of the game itself? Like this oh, like is what I, just, I want to yeah. watch. No, well, you know they, didn't, I mean? they didn't change the core of like. Arle you're saying like they're changing the core of Arl Esports. That's your comparison. Well, well, I'm saying that what is the like in terms of the future of the game? Like they're they're going to hone in instead of like regular football or soccer. They're going to hone in on. But they did it. You're, you're acting like they removed three v three or something. Like that's not even. Well, no, I'm not saying they're removed. I'm just saying they're clearly not. It, it feels I think they like will. They're not they will. About it as much. They you know they're they're going to remove three. They're going to remove stars from the game, man. They're going to remove. You know what I mean? You kind of you kind of with the angle of like, well, who cares? Like Rocket League dies out then you know i'll be moved on we'll have rocket league racing and then whatever happens from rocket league racing maybe something else but i i still feel like rocket league in terms of like a sport itself has the potential to be not only like the biggest esport in the world but like it can really you the know game cross paths with regular sports in terms of like yeah. you know the olympics stuff like that it's, it's i think you're like completely right i think i'm just it's... so i'm just so desperate for something else you know what i mean like yeah, I, I, know like, you, I know you're I a little not... bit you're a bit of a horn bag for that a bit was, of variety dude, i was so <laughs> like, excited for shotcast to come back you don't understand i did not have to play ranked today <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i want this like i care about just uh, the fact that this sport like in terms of it being a sport in terms of it being a global sport that is you know can cross paths with regular sports so we as i said we, we can see in you know the olympics we can see at the highest level these are like world championships that everyone's like yeah rocket league it's the same as like basketball like in in a hundred you know wherever it is where the, no i want to say 50 <laughs> times it could be crazy but, but you know what i mean like in the future um yeah it like that's where i still see the game and like esports in general but i i feel like it's still as johnny was saying like esports is still such a it's such a marketing it's such a profit turn up rather than you know can we really make this <laughs> like general you know can we can we get this into the into the normie economy of like sport you know yeah no i agree it's a, the e, it's the esport for everyone trying, bro. it's the esport for everyone that should be a tagline not the most ex rock league the most exciting esport it should be the esport for everyone it, it literally is anyone can watch it but no uh i don't know um i feel like a lot of people are getting the same i get the same vibe in this whole conversation as i had uh when they when when rlcs announced no worlds lan during covid I, I had a pretty realistic reaction to that. Pretty, you know, I feel, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Probably couldn't make it happen. They probably tried and it didn't work, so now they're not going to do it. I wasn't too upset about it. It was, it was less ideal, but I was like, yeah, I understand that. And this is the same vibe I get here. It's like, not with the trading thing. Trading, I, I'm not a trader. I don't really know, honestly, what that, uh, how much the community, I don't watch trading videos. I've never really been into trading personally. I don't know how, uh, how many people are into that, but... With a whole like Rocket League racing and Fortnite thing, I don't know. I can see why they would do that. I could see why they would not make a big deal out of like the announcement for the trading as well. I don't know. I just see their POV. I feel like it comes with age. I'm like, I can get why a massive company would do this. And massive companies, uh, for uh, all of you in chat who are not aware, don't care about you. And I know this. I've known this for a long time. Oh, that's a good point. Though. Like, they don't care about like any of us. And they never will. So I don't think like we should discuss is is this something that they should do? Should they care about? It? Should they care about how we? They're not. They're not. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't but... even waste. I don't waste time thinking about that because they're not going to. They don't, and they never will. It's not. So about... I don't. I like skip that part. I'm like, okay, let's not be emotional. Let's be logical here. Why are they doing this? And what does it mean? That's what I want to. That's what I do anyway. That's what, where my I brain don't. Goes. I don't think they. I don't think it's about care. I'm not asking them to. Uh, you know, to care about. You know, everything. Every, do everything we want and you know we we need everything we need this this we, we're not asking that i think they still care about the value and you know of their product yeah they want they want money they, they basically they, they, they want they want money which is fine they again care i said this earlier the it's okay they, they care about the like how good it is still 
And I think this is a question of, is it going to be a good thing to bring more players in? And in the end, I don't, I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like the, oh so, God, the camp in Russia, bro. I've thought yeah, of the, the core Russia, he problem doing, no. with eSports. He started in Minecraft. Hit me, CJ. Yeah. In regular sports, like, like, so, like someone invented football. Someone invented yeah. basketball. But there's no like company that made it. So they, they don't have control <laughs> over... Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it, can esports ever be like a general sport? Because when it, in esports, always someone's made a game. It's not like you know we've just invented something random based. I guess it might be. Wait, what, it, what are you saying? Are you, you know saying what I mean? Like, like somebody? Wait, what, what did you? What did you repeat you, that like, first part? Is it somebody of esports? Because somebody invested, some, invented. You think like the NBA invented basketball? No, no, no. I'm saying that's the that's the beauty of regular sport in that you can't end basketball. Like the NBA can't end basketball because basketball wasn't invented by the NBA. Okay. Whereas mm. games, esports, someone's always invented the game. Like they've always someone's always got control over that. Right. So you're saying the play. opposite of what I thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm saying the opposite. <laughs> I'm saying like, can we ever bridge the gap between esports and regular sports when like you? Like someone's always made it. Someone's always got like you know. There's always stakeholders I mean, I don't, in the entire thing. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. I've never thought we could. I've never, I've never liked the comparison of sports to sports because you'll never be able to replace an actual physical um thing. No matter yeah, it's how totally, much, totally different. Yeah, I don't care. Totally I'm not going to listen to the people who believe in like you know tech is great and you know digital whatever. Like, but it's never going to replace an actual you know actual feeling and you you won't be able to replace sports yeah it'll never be as big as sports it won't but yeah i feel like it to. well it, it it depends like uh, it on the sport it, like uh, when you say sports like yeah i'm probably never gonna get to like football level uh because that's half of the world but yeah like so, uh, some sports sure like they're not that that big again it's like barrier of entry cultural relevancy tradition they're like sports have existed for so many generations past your how long your parents 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 were alive in some cases that yeah they're just embedded but we're way too early in the esports world to know yeah, what the future so looks like we're like the, the beginning like the, of esports yeah. is like with it's within our lifetime so it's too soon uh or you know lifetime of most people watching at least it's like very cool like at least when esports blew up everybody was 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 already on the planet to see it happen so who knows what's going to happen next but uh with to keep it like about what we're um, talking about tonight, we're talking about Rocket League racing rumor uh, in Fortnite. We're talking about trading and not really uh, being removed from Rocket League. No announce, no big announcement, no explanation. Like for for me, uh, it's it's less of a oh this is the end and more like a oh what on earth is happening here. I don't think those are the main driving like rock, trading being removed to me is not like a main driving factor to Rocket League success. Uh, it's like a small. I think it's a small thing really. I think it's not as small as like removing the like hiding the how many players are online. But I don't think it is long term relevant. I think that it doesn't change the long term relevancy of Rocket League because Rocket League isn't trading. Rocket League is the ball into the net with a car like that's what rocket league is so that's the and and that's what's rocket league racing to me. because well, rock, because rocket league the, racing the only, is a totally separate game with the same ip so that could but, be bigger the, smaller the, the only comparison i see is that it's going to include ro the rocket league cars well they they don't like think about this though like epic themselves don't really have a racing game unless you're i, I don't know about this for sure but there's no popular racing game they have Unless you count Fall Guys, which I wouldn't really count. That's not the same caliber of, like, racing, you know what I mean? So, they're trying to, like, actually diversify a bit in the games category. And if they... Maybe... I don't know. Look, this is a big assumption. But maybe if Rocket League Racing does so well, they release a separate game that's actually, like, Rocket League Racing. Bold assumption. But, like, they're trying to get people to play other parts of their ecosystem. They, they, they want people in like Fortnite, they want people yes. in like their yeah, what they, they own which is like, like it makes sense because when you're playing like a game on steam and you're kind of bored about bored about it you, you're very often going to go to the steam store and play another one or like you're on a console you're going to play another game on that console so it's kind of the same idea it's not like a crazy concept that they would want people to be in one step deeper into the thing that they own it's because then when they close out that game, they're presented yeah. with a whole bunch of other things that are still in the realm of what they own. Right now, you close Rocket League, you look at your desktop, and uh, you, you see a whole bunch of other games you could play that aren't owned by 
epic but if the if you close rock league racing you're back into like uh fortnite i imagine which has like a bunch of other games pop up more Can likely I... to click on another one and stay in, in like it's like the whole you know endless scroll um idea with but now with gaming where you just I don't you're, think... you're I, trapped I, in that world i don't even know how they're gonna make a good game out of this by the way that's it's, yeah that's it's, another it's topic racing. we haven't really got to do <laughs> what do you mean but, but, but like dude like i just don't uh... It's gonna be. It's just gonna be with what with Rock League cars, and it's just gonna be. A, I just don't. I genuinely don't see how it's gonna offer <laughs> something different to any other better racing game out there that has actually like been around. Well, look, time. The, the only. Well, like... here you go, Jack. You're gonna be able to use your Alpha Boost, and no one else can can trade it to this. You're yeah, gonna I'm gonna be. be you know what it is. Race, All it's gonna be is it's just gonna be an Octane. It's gonna be you're gonna you you get access to race with the Octane, the Dominus, and the Fennec, right? And what Ryze said. You're going to be racing each other to, uh, you know, the third tower in Tilted Towers. It's not even going to be in the map. It's going to be... <laughs> maybe Wait, maybe map. this is a way for them to add stats to Rocket League cars. The new free play will be oh, the Fortnite map. Stats. stats. No, but okay, so, win, but what about, Come on now. The reason... So is there a racing game currently in Fortnite or uh, in, like, the there's Unreal probably, Engine? There's probably some fan-made modes and stuff. Yeah, fan-made modes? Yeah. That is no, like, I don't think that, there's anything official. But like Rizzo said, that part does interest me, and I'm very curious to see how that goes. Because if, like, Rocket League Racing mechanics, like, however they and do it, if it's, like, playable <laughs> and people can make maps in it, that's endless content. So I don't mind that. If, like, as a people concept. have not played, like, UEFN, UEFN is, uh, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, be a fucking epic game shill here. Like, I think what they've done is genuinely bad for the community. Let me reiterate that. I think them removing trading is bad. But. I'm not a shill, chill. But like right. UE UEFN, UEFN is genuinely impressive. Have you seen what they like have done and what the capabilities of UEFN are? It is insane. Like people making their custom modes and everything. Like, like they can like custom code essentially, like a bunch of stuff into their game. So there's a lot of capabilities within it. It's essentially like opening up a modding community. I think that's the best way to explain it. Is the UEFN stuff is like a modding community, which is something Rocket League has had, but not like mm. as. Uh, it's very, very not hard as to easy. do bad playing experience with like, you know, virtual servers. It's not going to be the same, right? Wait, what is that? <laughs> I've, I've oh, like the, the, uh, sorry, I don't want to. Yeah, CJ, go. No, 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 no. Just go. I, I, I want to go dive in. I was talking about, well, mod, so modding in Rocket League, there's some mods in the game, uh, which are pretty limited. And then uh, Workshop is very limited because of Unreal 3. And it's, but yeah. it's, it's UEF, it is uh, UEFN uh, to do with like maps as well, maps and so mods you, and you, you, everything. People have been asking for like a creative mode for Rocket League for years. UEFN yeah. is essentially creative mode. So like if they mm -hmm. have Rocket League Racing and then add some sort of like uh, not not like a port, but some sort of way to edit maps or make maps for Rocket League Racing. I I think it's like it has a huge benefit for like the modding community and people are going to be able Rizzo. to like creatively Ro make maps and all that stuff. I don't, I don't Rocket understand League, how this Rocket team League can Rocket have League a racing. Bro, Rocket League can have a cup of the day. Rocket League Racing cup of the Rocket League, day. Yeah, oh my goodness, Rocket, League, Rocket League could have a rings map cup of the day potentially, and people yeah, will play that every day. Maybe. Yeah. But look, we, we're gonna, they're going to create maps. Sorry, CJ, but they're going to create maps with all the other things in Fortnite, and the only comparison to Rocket League is going to be the car. So and boost, presumably there has to be. They well, like they got to put a boost going, in there. It's not. Even I think I'm just excited for a new game. I think that's it. Yeah, you are. But I'm going to tell you a problem with Rizzo because. Look, when Fortnite first came out, firstly, it was a survival game, and then it went to a BR, and all, like, the Battle Royale, you know, the, I don't know if it was before PUBG, or, but, like, you know, the OG sort of Battle Royale, like, oh, yeah, this is sick, you get the, sort of the old dads coming in, the old boys that love the shooting games, and all of a sudden, it just ex explodes, here come all the kids, all of a sudden, I've gone from just building a ramp, peeking over, how good's that, to these kids just... Cranking nineties, Rizzo. I know you want to be a content nobody, creator, but as soon as gonna build in Rocket listen, League Racing, bro. Like, listen, as soon oh, just as wait. listen, as soon as Rocket League Racing comes in, I know you want to be a content creator for it. But once these young kids come in, they're going to be like 
infinite chain dash zap dashing. If they like have power ups, I'm gonna lose my like mind, bro. You are, you are dead. So I don't, I think, oh. Forget about making content. As soon as the kids come in, you're done. Like you will be so washed in that game so <laughs> fast. Just like how Fortnite had all these kids instantly. Like I couldn't see once these kids started playing the game because they just they're just tornadoing. Like imagine Rocket League racing. You're gonna be so far behind mechanically because you're an old man that I think you need Dude, to be looking negatively at this game. Shut the hell up. I'm not an old man. Okay, I can keep up if I want to. Like, if I love Rock League racing enough, I'm going to grind the shit out of it. If it sucks, it sucks. So be it. I'm excited <laughs> yeah. to play it, okay? I'm excited to play it. I'll play it day one. If it sucks, I won't play day two. Simple as that. I'll play an update three months down the line. And it's, it's just like it. that. I, no, I'm, 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 I'm excited. Look, I'm excited to see what they do with that. I'm, I don't know. Like, you guys <laughs> think that... I gotta see how good or bad it is. Do I don't you think know where on like, the spectrum it is. Are we gonna is, have but... the exact same mechanics? Like, will I be able to wave dash in, in this game? I, I have no idea. It, like, I genuinely don't know. No, I, I no don't idea. know. So, like, I think, I it, think we could just It very have... well could be, but it could easily not just be because cars. it's easier to not. You know what I mean? It's easier I think, to I do think Fortnite the, mechanics. But I think we just got the cars. It could be! It could I think be. we're just gonna have the cars. I think we're just gonna have the cars. The cars, the boost, and the map. I think the map. Sorry, I think it'll be. I think it'll be similar map, and I, I don't know. I think you might be able to flip and boost. I don't know if it's gonna have the same uh, mechanic. You can flip in Fortnite already. <laughs> they have an octane in Fortnite, and you can flip. That's what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> think it's yeah, gonna they, resemble they have it in Fortnite. No, no, okay, so that's, that's the thing though. They already have it in. They already have uh, like octanes. I don't know if they had a Dominus, but they already had octanes in Fortnite. So with they UEFN, yeah. imagine how easy it is to make a map with octanes that are already in the game. I feel like they have to. There's no way. There, guys, there's no way they took months and they avoid announcing this because they were just making maps that were already within assets in the game. There's no way they took that long and they waited that long to <laughs> announce, right? There was that they're already in, there's they have to change it, right? Possibly. Yeah, yeah. If they were, right? yeah, yeah. I hope so. But what sure, if somebody they wait, would wait, just make a random map with all the assets they already have on Twist Tilted Towers and just add an octane, right? But wait, hold on, hold on. If somebody, uh, if if so, if they add Rocket League Racing to Fortnite and it's got the, uh, you know, UE, uh, sorry, uh, what's it called UE uh, FN. You, yeah. No, you, it would be U U N R L R, I suppose. Uh, if <laughs> if, the, if, the, 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 if they've got like, yeah, it's it's definitely a bunch of layers. If they've got like the, uh, you know, like modding and they can make a map in there. Somebody's gonna just make Rocket League in Rocket League Racing. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, bro. We our game. This is what I feel about. This is what I feel about. Our game is going Rocket into League. Fortnite. Imagine this Rocket is... League. Rocket League Racing Rocket League is bigger than Rocket League. There's a six-year-old kid that could make Rocket League UE5. It's taken us eight years, yeah. and he could just jump into Unreal Engine Fortnite and make the next Rocket League. Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> oh and that my can't days. be good for us. No, big. I don't. I don't like this. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, with right. Jack. I'm with Jack. You guys yeah, but can Jack, could, could Rocket League? I don't. I'm not. I, I need to open Rocket League later and see what this is. But when they, when you get all the game modes, you know, open Fortnite and you get all the yeah. game modes like the to choose from. What if Rocket League is just the most popular out of all the game modes? And they're that, like, that, that, well, that this my is tweets the, about the other day. Is that why? Why is that bad though? Because Fortnite's miles bigger than Rocket League. If Rocket League becomes bigger than Fortnite, because it's but it won't. Kids are clicking on it, why is that bad? It, won't, it won't become bigger than Fortnite because they won't allow it to. What? Why would they not? They won't allow it to, bro. It's the, Fortnite is no, there. No, no. Like, think about what you're saying. Think uh, about what you're saying. A company. What? Wait, why is Rise even no, agreeing? No, I'm with Rizzo here. Like, that's crazy. Why are you... No, Rise... Rise no, real, I don't, you guys no. are clueless. Because, what are you talking about? If Rocket League... Like, if, if they made Rocket League in Fortnite and people clicked on it more than any other game mode... And they're like, this is insane. Like, well, this is, we're this doing is, numbers. This is crazy. Everybody's playing this because it's so addictive and everybody's spending money in it and they're going to be like, okay, pull the plug, get rid of that. No, we don't want that. We want the, the game with the building and the guns. Uh, go back to that where we made less money. No, if they make more money, they're going to obviously... We're gonna go with that. Right, okay, Rise and Chad just said Fortnite, Fortnite is their game. So is Rocket it League. Is. So is no, Fortnite. No, no, because yes, Fortnite is it their... is. They own no. it. They make no. money off of it. They, it's no, their game. Funny, they, own it. they own it. No, no, no. Because Fortnite... Funny. What do you mean it's yes, not? Sure. This is... Oh my god, what? what do you mean it's not? They own it. They bought it. It is their right. game. They bought Rise, it for a get billion in. dollars. Get Rising. Get Rising. I'm asking for the call right now. No, because I am. I am. He's getting in. No, this is insane. Yeah, we can bring in Rise. We can bring in Rise. Call it Billiman, Adam. I am, I am. Oh, what are you? So hey, you're man, saying, go, join the call. Join the call. Join the call. <laughs> <laughs> Is he in? He's in. Right.
Back me up, bro, because they won't. They, they, they don't care about the I game, bro. The <laughs> they don't <laughs> care. Listen to these pro shills. You know the go, on, go on, go on, go Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Okay, got, listen. This, I'm going to come up with a really bad analogy right now, but like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's me oh, trying God. to prove oh, my Ryan's point. analogy. I love that. Okay, let's go. Okay. You've got your kid, right? You've, you've had a kid with your wife. Um, you're raising the kid beautifully. Um, and then you find out that you're like infertile, right? So then you have to you have adopt the kid. another kid. I've got another kid. You've got to adopt another kid. Which one yes. do you love more, realistically? This is a great analogy. Bad analogy. <laughs> Which one do you love more, realistically? That is analogy. an incredible analogy. No, no, that is an incredible analogy. That is amazing. That's the greatest thing that you've ever done. You, you, you have to act like you love both equally, but really, you're like, that one's actually my said. kid. You know what I mean? Yes, you birthed I've, I've... it. It came out Wait, of wait, you. question, question for the panel. Do you think Epic Games love... What do you, what do you think Epic Games love more? Fortnite or money? But they, they, that Fortnite is. It was their a yes. Team. It was a. Oh. I give you two options. Simple question. Fortnite. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. You're mine. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're mine. If you think they love Fortnite, okay, look, money. look, sure, Come money. On. Oh. But they. It is but money, Fort, money. Fortnite is, bro. It's their thing. It's their it's, thing. It's, it's their Fortnite. game. When you it's think, it's, game. When you think, think of right. Epic Games, when you think of Epic Games, you think of Fortnite. That will never change. You're probably right. If Fortnite died, never change. if Fortnite died, if Fortnite stopped having a player base, you do you call think me Epic... brain dead, bro? Shut the do fuck you think... up, bro. <laughs> 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 do you think also Bert joined the call too? Right, but do you also. think Epic, if uh, Fortnite died, would keep continuing to just like try to pump money and this is our baby? If Rocket League was, if Rocket League switched, turn the tides, and Rocket League was bigger, yeah, do you think they'd yeah. be like Fortnite is still our game? We love Fortnite so yes. much, but Rocket League's up here. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Why? Why? They will die with Fortnite. They they literally have U E F N. Really? I didn't know what that meant, and then I realized it's Unreal Engine Fortnite, bro. Like, <laughs> but it, it makes literally because it makes them. Money. It's all they care but that's, about. Bro. Why do they, they care about that? Because it's their biggest their money biggest maker. Their biggest game, and it makes them money. And it won't change. They they put yeah. no, no. This is our point. They put in so much effort. The effort that they ever put into another product won't be comparable. It won't be enough to even get. Jack, they 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 no, put a hundred million. Let's 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 say. Let's 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 no, let's what are we saying? Let's How is this even a debate? No, listen. I'm saying they put a hundred million into esports, and then UEFN made more money, so they stopped the hundred million esports, and they kept doing UEFN. They like money. If they, if it was the other way around, if esports made more money, they would put more money into esports, like e uh, e in prize money. Thought, we're not saying. Okay, e I was saying, I was saying every decision they make is probably driven by money. So if Rocket League made more money, they would be happy to happily make it their main game. I don't think this like whole love for the original game is as big as you think. I think money drives the decisions when a company is this yes, size. It does, it does, but but they will they will never like when I say they won't allow another game to get as big, I'm not saying like, oh, you know, it's it's starting to pull in, you know. Three billion a day, and we're gonna go. No, we can't have that because it's getting it's getting too. We're, we're making too much. We're not saying You're that. Saying they we're won't saying, take the risk. They they yes, little net. They, they will never yeah, like. It, there will never be as much effort put into Rocket League. As you as you're saying, for it to They're even baby. become perfectly yeah. said, never, perfectly bro, said. it will never. It will always be Fortnite, and that's fine. That's fine, but then just leave Rocket League alone, then. Like let let's uh, well, I mean, no, run it. They, they bought it for a billion, so I could see why they would want to get some return on that investment. They bought Psyonix for a billion dollars. That's so oh, Epic bought Psyonix for for a billion dollars, and Psyonix is essentially Rocket League at that point. I don't think Rocket League sites even out. So yeah, they, they well they, they bought <laughs> it for a billion. That's like the, <laughs> the PI. So <laughs> <bought, laughs> <laughs> <laughs> well, you ask, you ask, where's that gone? Now, if, if Rocket League Racing is going into Fortnite, they couldn't do that if they didn't own the IP Rocket League by buying Psyonix. So, like, they're they're investing in the IP of Rocket League by putting it in Fortnite, and that like can't be, in my opinion, that can't be bad. It might not be the best, but I don't think it can be bad. I, I just don't think it can be a bad thing for what that. A time. Time. Is like, what a waste of time! <laughs> where is where is like, Unreal Engine Five on. actually? Where is it? Right, like we, we, ago, we, 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 it? We've been talking about this. What if like it was, it's such bro, a success that we could like copy, like do do it with Rocket League, make Rocket League two it, in the, the in Fortnite because Rocket League Racing in Fortnite is such a big. So success. they prioritize doing it in Rocket League Racing first instead of doing it in Rocket League. Is this bro, this I don't normal? know how this the, would be a good thing. I, I don't know. I don't know what their priority <laughs> was, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's not normal, is it? <laughs> no, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna develop a new engine, a new game on a new engine. But actually, first we're gonna do it on Rocket League Racing, so we can cash cow uh, uh, our Fortnite. They just right? want we, to we make, can make money through Fortnite. They want yeah. to make as uh, much money short term from this game as possible. The thing that got leaked was a job application to program on Unreal Engine Five, though. It's not like it was like 
It was, oh, Unreal Engine 5 is coming in six months. It was like, these guys are hiring yeah, people yeah, yeah. to work on this but, project for Unreal Engine 5, like Rocket League to go to Unreal Engine 5. It's like, but, that, that's what it was like. That takes so much time. Did it Did it say for Rocket League to go to Unreal Engine 5? Did it say anything about Rocket League in the job post leak? Uh, wasn't it this it time? Was, like, no, I, I, no I, swear so, I swear someone responded about it. I don't know if it was Devin or someone who was, I, did, I, did respond yes, about the leak. Someone, they, 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 they went on Reddit. Yeah. They yeah. confirmed oh, it. Oh, they yeah. confirmed. Well, they yeah. confirmed it was Rocket League. Well, they confirmed it was like for. It was on the Rocket League Reddit, and they confirmed it was, it was for UE5. But that doesn't mean like yeah. it's coming anytime but, like, soon. That, that could mean like, uh, you know, Psyonix, or do they still work on other games? Because game studios often do work on other they games. They like contract uh, work. Studios yeah. Games. yeah, they'll do contract work. Is, so, is like, the... it would make sense for Psyonix to have Unreal Engine 5 employees. This was before they were owned by Epic, if I is recall. Is the Fortnite Unreal Engine just Unreal Engine 5, or is it a completely different thing? I don't really know. No, it's like Fortnite. All of it is on UE5. So could like, why does it have to be actually Rocket League? Couldn't this be what that job application was? Could yeah. this not uh, no. be like? It, could have been. It, was, no. it was a Psionix job application, so that's why people were like, "It's Rocket League." Oh, and then yes, Devin confirmed for... it was for Rocket League in the Rocket it. League oh, Reddit. Okay. So like, that's they all yeah. linked to Rocket League. But, but I mean, Rocket, but, but, League, but, Rocket League could be Rocket League Racing. Like that's yeah, a, what, what Ryze is saying is like Psionix could have been working in Rocket League Racing when that uh, job application was leaked. And then that's what this project no, was. Yeah, three that years. For three yeah. years. Well, They've well, been I'm working Rocket League like, Racing for three years. What, and I'm expecting like, like, what a flop. <laughs> great what game, a bro. flop. Hey, I'm going to be driving around free play. I'm going to be driving around free play. If it's been three years, they've been developing this game. I can record Rocket League Racing. Let them make a better game, in my opinion. Do you guys want to record Rocket League Racing with me? Let's race to the end of the map. I'm convinced I've seen like 50 Lethemir videos where he does race Rocket League Racing in the workshop maps. He can he can probably do it better than that. Zero boost, you're allowed zero boost. You can only, you know, just go around. Uh, that would be like, given do. given the, like, if nothing else, I was saying earlier on, I understand why they wouldn't and make it a big deal how they're like announcing that trading's removed and try and make that as small of a thing as possible. I get that. But what I don't understand is immediately after the tone deaf, like, tweets you were talking about, Rizzo, like the ones about, oh, yeah, by the way, buy this, buy this, buy this, right after this tweet about trading be removed. It would be very on that, like, line of thinking to just announce. So oh guys, we know you're all really excited about the Unreal 5 Rocket League drop. Here it is after all these years. Rocket League Racing. <laughs> Just no, drop it. Like you guys are going to love surprised. this. Love you United really Glazer. Love this. Get them out. All right, let's, let me speak for one second. I, I want to I yeah, yeah. I I say what I, what I actually Every feel. Quiet. You, you, can, you can speak, yep. Because I was I was in the casual Rocket League community for a long time. I was, a, I was a part of the Reddit community for a very, very long time. And I just remember... All these posts from 2016, maybe until like 2018, 2019, people were always asking at Sonics, where is the black and white, gray uh, colors for primary, uh, etc. Like, uh, so people were asking for more uh, custom, uh, customize, uh, customizability. If that's even a word. I don't know how to, how to say. Customization. It. Yeah, and now they're literally removing trading, so it's even uh, it's even harder to customize your car the way you want it. So, in for my free. opinion. Yeah, for yeah, free. Exactly. So, in my opinion, uh, Rock League is basically just uh, capping the potential of Rock League. That, They're getting rid opinion. of Backus Mod next. Yeah, yeah. If that happens, Has GG it. game, well, the game will die. Like, Imagine the, the only way you can get items is through the shop. It's, the it's, game's it's already dead. Joke, like, in my opinion. They've they've successfully That's like killed off the game to new players. What new player is gonna <laughs> hop on to play Rocket League when, like, when like, what's gonna mod entice is gone? new players? No, yeah, no, no. Backus Mod is the jailbreaker. Even now, like, who's hopping on Rocket League, like? Who's coming home from a long day of work and going? Bro, yeah, I, think you, I think you actually underestimate how much of a casual community there is in Rocket League. Like you said, like, who, who's coming home after a long day of work? Is, and it is growing, growing, like, though? Is so it growing many though? I'm not saying I'm not saying there's no community, but is that going to grow? Yeah, I don't, like, I don't think it's growing. I think it's big, no. but I don't think it's growing. No, we need yeah, crates back, man. It, 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 won't, it won't grow. Nah, we need we need crates back. Imagine XTC or Trainer gambling on Rocket League. That would be insane. Bro, there is never gambling Rocket League because every item is three cents anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Fortnite into No, why Zombas hype? Why Zombas? Apex <laughs> Bro, John Sandman has literally gone Let's to go back CSGO to UE3. Cases, We're going He's the wrong to way. Yeah. Cases because the game's yeah. dead. Because, because <laughs> yeah. the items are actually worth something. That's why. The man likes a rush. What are you going to do? He's getting like 30k on every CS case opening. And then he did Rocket League. Let me find one. <laughs> Yeah, no, that shit's dead. Trust Wait, me. He doesn't even do it anymore. He doesn't even do it. No, no, he gave mm -hmm. up when the, the trading thing happened. I'm pretty sure. He's just like, I'm done. He was, actually, yeah. he was actually making a series, no, no, no. a gameplay series, and he was oh, doing no, it, and then they removed CSGO, trading, no, and then he's like, I'm not even going to upload these, like, I'm done. I thought he did a Rocket League. That says it all, bro. That says it all. I, that's not in the game. He what's, literally what's quit like, the game. 
what's like the current like daily player rocket league players compared to like all time obviously free to play had a spike where uh, it was good and covid like made people play more games but is it actually like down like uh like people are saying it is three hundred thousand. what was it like before the free to play covid boom was it like similar to that or i'll be up wait 300k what great Excellent. I mean, we don't know the numbers, Johnny. You can see the number. I, just, I can't remember where. You can see it on Steam chart shows the Steam players, which will obviously be declining because more people are bit, like going through epics. It was usually uh, 400k uh, from what I remember someone says. Usually 400k? From what he remembers, though. So. Where, where's, okay, somebody must have a site that you can track. A million? No here's a question. Really? Since oh. Epic it was a, it was a bought yeah. Psyonix and like taken over Rocket League, Apart mm. from like funding, what have they actually like season improved pass. about the game? Like, oh, nice, brought okay, to the game? Okay, you you, you say that pass. literally. Yeah, no, you say that a lot. Pass. Absolutely, pass, absolutely nothing. Mm. They added a rock pass, maybe mm. ten of them. But also, what did Sonics do before before that? What did Sonics do before that? Yeah, before that acquisition? same thing. Because basically, the they, they they were like trying to add stuff. They, they added, made the game. They added rock. What? They what did they update though? What did they added Rocket Labs. Everybody complained, and then they stopped doing Rock Labs, and then they started adding DLCs. To be fair, I don't think you can compare Epic and, and Sonic. It's like a different, a completely different scale of. Uh, but of the stuff, game, so. look, the game wasn't updated for like. No, eight I years. agree. It doesn't matter if it was the Epic acquisition so you... or not. The game was still never updated. Regardless, look, I'm not saying I'm not saying Sonic's a fantastic. It took nine the game. months to start season four. To be fair, no, Rizzo, you can't even you can't even like, compare like it, it, like when we all saw that Epic is taking over Rock League. Like I think yeah. everyone was expecting more. Everyone yeah. was gasped. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, this just billion, think about it, that, that, billion dollar company is taking over the game." to go the, next level. You're yeah. probably right. They added, okay, listen. I remember. the Rocket Pass and have they updated it even once? I swear it's the exact same features for I've five years now. It. Wait, wait. So no, so what about, why, don't we talk about, why don't we talk about the season rewards, guys? Because those are so brilliant every year. Every season, no, sorry. I think the last time anyone cared about them was 2017. <laughs> but like, okay, but yeah. in the Rizzo's because hold on, we're getting we're getting very uh, ahead of ourselves here. It's never been that wasn't Epic Sorry. though. It's always been like that. Like the reason people were so excited when Epic bought uh, Psyonix in first place, they're like, finally we're gonna get updates. There were no updates before. There were no big updates. It's not like anything's changed since Epic bought uh, Psyonix. But it should have. Where did a way the Epic company. money go? But like, so look, look click. I, I, I sent you guys a link in here. I can't post it in the chat because I'm not permitted. I'm a, I'm a pleb. But like, is this it. accurate? This looks like a pretty decent like Fucking maintenance of mil. players. Oh that looks like a pretty God. decent maintenance of players if this is accurate <laughs> right, across all this. platforms. It doesn't look, look like not. there's been a decline, like real massive decline oh, for roughly like monthly million. or daily players. It's pretty similar actually. Um, uh, are we, is that something to celebrate? Like what? No, I'm just saying. Like if people say it's died. It's like. Wait, 91 million people? Bro, that's like, yeah, per that's month, like Rocket more League than the population massive. of France has stopped playing the game <laughs> in the past 30 days. Where? Rocket League has lost 91 million players in the last 30 days. Oh, yeah, I don't know how million. accurate the site is. People. No, 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 scroll, no, scroll down. Right. That's not the number. No, like, look the, at the, the, look at the graph. Yeah. Scroll down to the big chart. Oh, the like, big uh, graph. Yeah, the chart. It looks pretty like okay. you know, it went up for COVID and um this what do you call that? No, it's 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 bottom to top actually, so not down a spiral. Oh, oh, it's yeah. like it started off in twenty nineteen <laughs> much smaller, then it grew with COVID and like uh, free to play, and then it kinda went like the same every month. Do we since genuinely then. have ninety one million average. Is this is this real or no? Different, it's not different this people. This cannot be it? real. I think I'm getting hacked. This, there's no way this can be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this link to Johnny Sanders? This is a Trojan. <laughs> All I know is like this, this, this will this will track like I well I, I've heard like these kind of numbers before like this isn't the first time I've seen a number like a hundred million people play Rocket League uh, every month like yeah, that's I not think pe crazy. People are always surprised because yeah. they, they, they think if if there's a hundred million people playing why don't Twitch streamers get a uh, hundred thousand viewers and stuff like that because nobody wants to watch me play ranked bro but like there's so <laughs> many people who play Rocket League I was saying it's such a oh, casual dude. game it is a massive game yeah. it is a massive game so. it is so well known in like the gaming community it's just that it's hard so people barely play it. Or, you know, there's the grinders that obviously everybody knows, but mm. otherwise it's just people barely playing or, or like Rise Nintendo said, people Switch hopping thing. on after work. You got Nintendo Switch. Every single console mm. has Rocket League. Like, it's an incredibly big game. If this site's to be believed, by the way, this month has the biggest monthly loss in players since June 2020. So, mm -hmm. 
That doesn't really stand us in good stead going forward. I mean, War Games came but out. But you and shouldn't obviously well, make like massive even like, then, reads off one month. You've got to go like, you've got to see a trend for longer than a month. So you're right. Then, but well, yeah. I mean, it's not like, I don't think it's a coincidence that all this shit gets announced and then three, three, this random spike in loss of players happens. It is, but they, they is, lost yeah. 3% two months ago as well. So it's like, does it really matter that they're moved trading no. in their eyes? Uh, no, I, f I feel like, yeah, I mean, down. Th fine. No, there, there, there probably is a correlation <laughs> between free to play and I when the game was before. This free is to how, play. by the way, that, that, stuff like that is how like far we've gone that we're like actually celebrating. Well, it's, it's not actually gone worse. It's, it's just stayed the same. No, because look, like, Jack, it went like, down 3% you know, two months Epic ago. Epic took over the game, but it's not like they're doing anything different. They're just not adding anything like we didn't used to anyway. Well, look, like, we're, we're, like, we're like, that's a good thing. That's a good thing now. I can't believe it. It went down 3% three months ago. It went up 1.5%. And then when the trading was announced, it went down 3.5% again. Realistically, 5% of the player base in a long-term vision are they going to care about that that's what we were kind of getting at was like they love cash is that five percent going to matter when their long-term vision is going to get more players and replace that five percent and get them more cash what what do they do in february of this year they gained 7.8 percent well Damn. what did they do in february that's a great well, month that's Moxie the biggest change on accounts. the entire chart yeah. <laughs> accounts from Moxie. no i generally feel like there is a correlation <laughs> like uh, no no, listen up. There, I actually feel like there is a correlation. There obviously is a correlation between when the game was free to play and before, <laughs> because the game is free to play. So obviously, people will make fifty Smurf accounts, right? So, I mean, it wasn't as easy before. So, I mean, that kind of you really think like more. that many people have Smurf accounts? Like you, you overestimate Dude. the casual gamer, bro. You really do. Yeah, true. It was you February when XQC up. was grinding it? Was that why oh, XQC maybe. was it? Maybe, yeah, maybe. I feel like Dude, that's insane if it down. is. By the way, that's insane. Half the RSS views are like. Bots anyway, I swear to God. Yeah, it was for the white Apex we have now. Yeah. Well, you're no more anymore. Hey, you guys are getting no viewers. You guys are losing your orgs, by the way. I just want right, you to know. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? No one's worth it? anything. Surely the whole Sonics. Like... GG. Sonics, yeah. Rocket League Esports, like who, you know, Sonics didn't do anything, but then Epic did it anyway. Well, like, we didn't, Sonics never did anything, but the problem was that, like, we saw what Epic was doing with Fortnite. Like, we're seeing, like, Travis Scott live concerts and stuff, and then <laughs> they buy the out of the I feel we're like our Travis expectations. Scott. We're going to get the Monster Cat, Manfield Monster Night. Cat Wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I feel like... Imagine you're like on a Rank 2's little... game and there's just a fucking Travis Scott concert going so, on. No, but you have to say, like, when Epic Where? did buy, like, purchase Sonics, we, our expectations had to be high. We have to expect more things to happen because of their track record versus Sonics, who never had a track record, really, since they made That's the fair. game of doing anything. So, and... So they really were more of a letdown than Psionics in terms of like the past, it's whatever it is, seven we, years, we eight years. expected more from Epic. That's a massive thing. Like, like we should... Like I think we, you're we right. Can... I'm not going to be a shill here. I'm right. I, I, I'm right. <laughs> You've been a shill right. for the last hour, bro. No, like we can't. Do like, I, I, don't think I, I don't think I've been. I, bro, I said Epic Games likes money. I don't think that's being a shill. I think that's just that's being pretty much. Realistic. All, I I do think all of mine and Riz's opinions come from Epic Games likes money more than anything else. Yeah, which is expected I, and fine. That's like we're all. Mentioned our opinions a lot of the downsides. Downsides. Good thing. I think. I think mm. them going from Sonics to Epic has been a letdown, especially when Jack explains it like that. Because we expected so much more, especially with the Travis Travis Scott concert. <laughs> <laughs> if Travis Grande, Scott pulls like, up on, on my backboard after after making a yeah, hard play, <laughs> like, like, he, imagine he, you yeah, score like, and he just says straight, like he pops out and says straight up, like, "Come on, how sick would that yeah, be?" That'd like, be get cold. that collab. Yeah, uh, but, like the, the problem for me is, like, I think we're being completely delusional if we're saying that Rocket League isn't the little brother like the little the backup to fortnite like it's just never going to be their priority i think never you're right. and it's like shown and it's shown that with what they've well done. when you're you say right. priority, like, what do you what do you mean by priority though like when you say it like that like obviously they're going to have no, more employees the way for I a see bigger it is game. like they they prioritize fortnite is the way i see it that's kind of what i mean like their priority is they, making fortnite it's fine if they Which prioritize is fine. something that makes yeah. sense but, but, I, I think what rise is saying is like is that they're doing it to win they they are clearly Doing They're it like and going through it to an extent that is, yeah, yeah. it's just, it's, it hurts the game. Then, do you think, do you think they are putting as much effort into it as they could? Into Rocket League? No. Yeah. I mean, realistically, uh, I don't know, but I would no. say well, we, no off the top of my head. 
Johnny boy, hesitate, bro. When you think the answer is like, what? What do we know? Like, we don't know what they're doing. I mean, we just know. We just know their team. Their team got We think they are, bro. They've not. They. We. We literally. We act. I actually can't name a thing we've had. Like that get like given to our game. No, you're rocket right. Pass. You're right. They're not the rocket pass, man. There is no ring. They could the rocket Ooh. pass. Well, yeah, well, you, can, you can buy a rocket pass. Uh, ten, t uh, one thousand credits. Rocket pass is crazy, I man. Don't I don't think I've ever heard a rocket pass. Uh, Gridiron mode. Like, yeah, yeah and then you die, guys, 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 guys. Come on, guys. Use code Rizzo when you buy the rocket pass, please. Jesus Christ. I don't have an epic. My, my one, my one, I got cancelled and I can't get it back. They stopped taking applications. So. <laughs> yeah, I, mine got cancelled oh. as well. Anyway, I look, where did... oh, I, oh, it on, I logged in on Johnny Boy in the wrong PC and I then I didn't the play. Right. Right. No. Whether they idiot. want, you know, whether they don't want Rocket League to be as a bigger or whatever, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's like we're looking in the wrong area. I think it's like I'm going to go back to a Gario Ro Fortnite massive <laughs> Rocket League. <laughs> like, yeah, Rocket Gario League. reference. Listen, just love just this listen. Reference. All right. Rocket League's its own bubble. I think they might have accidentally, whether they will or not accidentally, eaten fought, like eaten Rocket League and consumed it before Rocket League could have got big enough, like or perhaps bigger than Fortnite itself. So I don't know if they've. It's not that they haven't let it. I just think that they might have been like, we'll take that. Like you know, Sonics, we don't need any of you guys anymore. We'll take this. We'll get rid of all your employees. Thanks for that. We'll take over. We've got the reins here, and we'll just. We'll just eat ya. I didn't like Before. that. I did not like that. Bro. Let him I like the mouth. sound effect. What, you didn't like the mouth you know noise? I, like, <laughs> really, yeah, that made I me... feel like they've just, they, they haven't perhaps gone like, let's let, really let this thing get out. They've kind of been like, w actually, you know what? We'll take over from here and we'll. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense though? Yeah, like I yeah. think they've just yeah, kind of yeah. consumed it all I without kind on. of letting it prosper on its own. I think it had more chance to maybe get even bigger on its own, but I, they've kind of like yes, consumed it in the ecosystem now, into the Fortnite ecosystem. I think yeah. I, I, I actually meant it when I tweeted it the other day that I think we're just going to see Rocket League be in Fortnite. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they joined. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Games. I think Fortnite will become a massive, like, I don't know what the word is. Like, it will become... Well, you think it's going to be like a launcher instead of Epic yeah, Games? Yeah, yeah, I guess Fortnite that's launcher. the word. Is that the word? Yeah, like a like, launcher? Yeah, yeah launcher. Like, like, where there's yeah. a bunch of different yeah, things. Because it's launcher. massive, man. And Epic is huge. Like, well, you, you used to play... Jack, you used to play Minecraft servers, right? Yes, are, I think Fortnite thinking, will like, be server like hubs? that. Like a server Yeah, kind of, yeah. I, and then you have, like, I, four different paths. You can go I into different Rocket servers. League, yeah, like, I think Rocket League will be like that, bro. Rocket League will be... But, like, why Why wouldn't they do that? That sounds like a great way to keep people in the games sure, that they own. Sure, it, Yes, I'm, but with Johnny, no one is denying that it's a good thing for Epic's side, but we're speaking from a selfish point of view of our... our what do we... But, uh, what, what I'm saying is that's a waste of time. Like, there's no point in trying to, like... They, they're not going to listen, and uh, they're not going to, like, change any, what they're doing. I we have to I understand what they're doing so that we can, like, yeah, you, but you know, I react don't, I don't accordingly. Think... But is this was did we join the call to try and get Epic to listen to us? Because I don't think they are. No, we're, we're all, we're all fired they have made Johnny? Tim Sweeney better be on the stream. Johnny, couldn't they have made like I know that Fortnite has this massive thing now, UE Fortnite, whatever. Couldn't they have made Rocket League its own like massive entity as well? In, and I understand it's going to be big for you know putting Rocket League in, adding more things to this Fortnite thing. But couldn't they have made Rocket League, Rocket League Racing, its own? big thing as well that they could but is that know, as good though to... like i don't know like would that actually retain as much they wouldn't have as like much probably ability to keep people in the <laughs> fortnite universe whatever they're trying to make sense like but some kind of a they... meta we're not saying that though like that, that but, like sure. my point is can you my point is can you blame them i know you're saying this is bad yeah. for us but like i don't know if it necessarily is if there's more players there than in the rocket league launcher then more people are seeing play rocket league to, if they click here and they can get, try ah, Rocket League. If, if Rocket League, I believe in Rocket League so much that I think if you put Rocket League that close to all these Fortnite kids, it, they're gonna get, they're gonna click it more likely than they are gonna go download it on Steam or download it independently. And now suddenly they're gonna realize because I thought Rocket League, like when I first saw it, looked a bit silly. I was like, why are people playing this? It's so simple, it looks so basic. Then I played it. I'm like, ah, okay, now I get it. This, this is a really very good game. It's uh, and I think that could happen as well. Like all these people will be exposed to it, click it, think, wow, this game's amazing. It could grow. I, I could see that. I really could. The thing is, it already works like that though, because it's already on the Epic Games launcher. Like you, you but that's still see... not as like people are opening Fortnite because it's that's where all the players are, right? Fortnite has like fifty to one hundred. I don't know what the exact number is, but it's massively bigger than Rocket League. More people are opening the game Fortnite than uh, going like to find Rocket League in the on the Epic Store. 
That's just uh, that's just, should got to be a fact. So if Fortnite, if Rocket League is an option that they can choose in that game, more people, it's going to get more impressions. More people are going to see it. It's just, how is a mini that, game? That's, 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 that is in, it in the Olympics. Olympics. Here's a question though. Here's a question though. Why is Fortnite as big as it is? It's because it's a it's thing fun. of its own. It's so unique. Like there's no other game like Fortnite. It was a good Fortnite. game, right? It was now, just good. Why, where is Rocket League's potential? Rocket League's potential is it's the same thing. Is that it's like got so much potential that it's not like anything else. Unique. It's all, it's really its own Fortnite, genre. Fortnite, Fortnite is a little similar. Though. Though. Yeah, Fortnite genre, is a little yeah. similar just because it's like an FPS game. Like there has been stuff like that. Before. But like Fortnite Rocket League is like, so uh, incredibly unique the that you can't aspect. transfer anything. So it's like, harder for people well, to want to play it. Rocket like a spurred man. Because what? Well, yeah. Because like Riza said, it, the the similarity with Fortnite with a lot of other big games, massive games, gave it a kickstart, and then the unique elements and the different take on that kind of game made it unique and uh, enough to like separate itself from the pack. But um, I don't know. Like I, I think impressions are pretty powerful. They have to be because why would all these massive companies be paying for them if they're not doing something? So if if, we're, if Rocket League, the game is getting more impressions, more people are playing it, and we all believe the game is as good as it is, people are going to play it and be like, this game's insane, I'm going to play it again. I, 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 can't, I don't see how that could be bad. But like, you guys think that, they're, that if Rocket League outgrew Fortnite, and became the main game within the epic uh, like uh, hey, universe. Never I'm happen. just saying if it's a, a, hypothetically if Rocket League outgrew it, you guys One in a million. think Sorry, you Johnny. guys think no, yeah, but the point is so what I'm making is you guys think that Epic would undermine Rocket League to put Fortnite back on no, top, no, which is we, not, I don't no, think that's we don't no no the point the point was that they it, it can't I know that you're saying that if it does. But it's a like, hypothetical, yeah. Yeah, I it's know, but, but that, that that's just kind of unfair because I didn't say that. It's like it it can't because they won't Agario put the effort into it. No, stop saying Agario. <laughs> I mean, you are right. You're you're very right. It's already eaten <laughs> Rocket League. It can't get big now. They've con yeah, they've eaten it, bro. They've e they've already eaten that. <laughs> it wasn't even like a good meal. Like it was just a snack. Like they they didn't even like. I didn't even care, bro. It was just like it's a little, like... It, speaking of... It, it was like a, a square is, of chocolate. You, you don't even you forget you like, had it. Genuine question, because I don't know the answer. How much bigger than Rocket League is Fortnite, actually? Let's go on that very reputable website I found to look at. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to say, like, it's gonna say looked, Fortnite looked lost right 11 now. billion players this month. <laughs> 11 Let's billion. Let's find out. <laughs> it's got to be a big number. Uh... Oh, I don't even know. I how feel to, like the the, the chart for Fortnite is just going to be downwards. Like, they're everything's not everything's done. Like apart, like most things are done. Um, where is it? How negative, Johnny? Rocket League's not really down though. Wait, apart from this month, we're catching up, boys. According to my absolutely trustworthy reputable yeah, I'm not website, that link again. Yeah, we man. are catching up. Fortnite's coming down to our level. They were up at like triple, and now they're only like. Double 2.5 of the Rocket League player base, we're catching up. It's not too long until we get Rocket League in Fortnite well, I mean, and surpass them completely. Oh, the, Imagine oh, with the, all those the, new impressions. The, 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 OG map is coming back, so yeah, all the it's players clear are going to come back. Yeah, but they're struggling the... with the game because they clearly didn't want to bring this old map back. Like they, they kept it. It was for the players. Like, yeah, hang on. The players Wait, if, 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 if Rocket League gets into Fortnite, it can never surpass it. Because there's always going to be what, at least one player that never clicks on Rocket League in Fortnite, but they're going oh, to do they get oh Fortnite they player. get the free yeah, impression. Their entire, they're, they're consuming oh, our game. Oh, they're bro. cheating, bro. They're cheating. I told you, bro. They've eaten us for no. a snack. I mean, the way I see it is views, Fortnite bro. slowly dying, and like Rocket League's like the backup plan. And it's just like, keep it around, keep it around. And if our game does die, you know, Rocket League's there to kind of take the reins and we can. <laughs> Put more into that, but they're trying. Bro, they're bringing back the old map. They took away building. Like they're trying to make it as like, bro, new friendly. But, but you've said, yeah. you said, or not? You not. said. Uh, people have said that like Fortnite has been dying for years. Rocket League is dying for. What game is like growing then? I mean, I don't think well, I, don't, I actually don't know because I, I literally was asking how big Fortnite is. <laughs> A couple no, hours ago, right, that's fair. Ago. That's completely fair. No, but there's there's external but, factors that are like, like making it's just, all of these sports. The games, the games trade games. off player bases. It's like you can't keep Roblox growing consistently. Yeah, and this not is the many first time we've seen a game gamers out there. A, a games player base, bro. Eat a games <laughs> player base. But like, if they're still playing Rocket League in Fortnite, uh, is that bad? I don't know if that's bad. 
Yes. Like I, I, because I've never played Fortnite. I've never okay. downloaded Fortnite. I could, I could see myself downloading Fortnite and clicking one extra button to get into Rocket League. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. I don't think that's too bad. But, but, okay, but would, you, man, would you go into Fortnite talked. and actually start playing Fortnite, Johnny? Because that's basically the, that, that's what's going to happen to the Fortnite players. They're going to go into Fortnite and try to click on Rocket League. Would, well, would like, you I believe there? that Rocket League is so such a, an addictive game because it is fun. It's like such a good yes. game. It is so, so it is such a like mechanically intensive That's game such a, such a real game i just i don't know i just believe in the game maybe you uh, maybe you don't but i think if more if you gave every like uh, no. fortnite this player game is not fun man five minutes of rocket league well not maybe not when you play it as much as you guys do and have to play like no, the no, same even at the start like no, you're 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 underestimating Bert, how much fun you had no 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 it is fun but i started playing incredible i loved rocket league when i was bronze was the most fun i had playing rocket league it was a amazing game to be okay let me backtrack it is a fun game, but I just no! don't see. I don't see. Like, like it's happening. Vert, Vert, I think Rocket League was like my most fun game to be bad at. Like, I, I, whenever I played another game with my friends, like I played League of Legends, my friends were like, uh, you know, gold, and I was bronze. I hated it. I was like, I just want to be good. <laughs> I just want to be as good as them. Other games, I'm like, I want to be as good as them. I didn't enjoy the process where I was just getting carried. I'm terrible. But Rocket League was genuinely so fun from the first game. I was like, this is an, an amazing game. And I think if you, like, if everyone just had it at right in front of them and it's that click away and then they try it, they're like, wait, they could have that realization I had. They're like, this is an incredible game. And they're, like, they're okay. going to start playing it. I, I don't sure. think the okay. seven-year-old Fortnite kids have the I... attention span for Rocket League, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, they so. Right, right. They literally okay. don't. What do you mean okay. attention span? They're, they're, they're going to whip the ball and they're like, nah, I'm done. Let me go no build. They can't build, bro. The only way we can aerial is to ramp up to it. Yeah. That's that's what's gonna we happen. Need to, we need to get I'm subway really surfers tiny. on the bottom half of the screen. <laughs> Split screen subway surfers. Genius. So that these Bro, these kids can actually rocket TikTok. How about the screen being TikTok? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Right. So you you think that the game might succeed if it got implemented into you know into Fortnite? Sure. But do you think that they would carry on RCS? If there were more people like watching Rocket League and they you know were interested in the esport to a degree where it, you know, was pro like why do you think Psionics do RLCS and Epic now do RLCS now? Like it's because there's a player base who will be fans of it and watch to generate ad revenue, sponsorship revenue, um, org revenue, esports shop revenue. It's to generate money and also to get people more invested in the game so they keep playing and buy items in the game. If more people are in that ecosystem, they're going to make more money from all of those things. So yeah, I think they would invest more if they thought it would give more return. Why not? So so if you had to put a uh, like a a lifespan on RC on on Rocket League esports, do you think it will it will be alive for as long as the game's alive? Well, it's by, uh, when you say Rocket League esports, do you mean just like some type of competitive Rocket League, or do you mean no, like the actual like, uh, RLCS? Because actual no, RLCS, I okay, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, because like that, that's. I don't like, mean, uh, I don't mean actual RLCS. I mean esports, but like, like, uh, like okay. an actual sustainable product where pro players can be full time players, right? Like, of course, they okay, can, okay. you can host a hundred dollar tournaments yeah, and yeah. it's an esport, right? But if that's the definition, if like we could have like multi, like a scene of pro players who are doing it full time. I honestly don't see a reason why that can't continue happening um, beyond, like, even if RLCS wasn't a thing. I think that there's enough interest in it and it's unique enough that I think it could continue to be a full-time pursuit for people. I, I don't know. I think it, I think it's just unique. What, what else is going to replace it? What's going to replace that itch if, like, RLCS uh, wasn't announced for 2024 and there, there was just a blank space? Some other TO is going to see... That's a fan base without uh, their esports to watch. I'm going to run it and take all those fans. Like the fans aren't going to disappear. They're still going to be fans of Rock League esports. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I and, feel like and it's Bert, Bert and Rise, do you guys think? What do you guys think about like the future of RRC or like future of Rock League esports? I think I think, the, I think I think the pros will have a. Um, shit, that's just happened. I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah, you, I think go if ahead, we get, I, I think if we get dragged into this Fortnite. By Fortnite. Yeah, no, I think if we get dragged into this Fortnite ecosystem, we're, we're getting dragged down with them, you know? Just like yeah. how I dragged you down uh, in Bali, if you remember, if you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, I think the exact same thing is going to happen. <laughs> oh, that so, book, just an example. So <laughs> Fortnite has a... Ma I think Fortnite has a way bigger, like, player ratio of casual players to, like, hardcore fans than, to, than Rock League. I feel like Rock, uh, Rock mm. League has more 
hardcore fans uh, like player ratio uh, compared mm. to like actual casual fans um so yeah and if you watch fncs it has like ten thousand viewers on the mainstream and then the streamers are the ones who carry it like they, they actually like uh, they're co-streaming it has 50k viewers whatever 70k viewers but I generally feel like Rockley could go that way as well. Does well, okay, question. Does on that then? Oh, my does turn, my Fortnite... turn, my turn, my turn. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, well, definitely. can I ask, can I ask yeah. a question on that? Because yes. I'm, I'm learning yeah. about that. I don't really know too much about Fortnite, so I want to know more about it. Um, and you're more yeah, well, I also, I want to know what Rise is going to say as well. But yeah, the, my question was, do, do you guys know, and Vart, do you know, uh, if Fortnite's like player base continues to play as they get older? Like, has Fortnite got retention when a, somebody gets older? Because I know some games struggle with this. Um, Fortnite, nah, no possibly. Way. No, that, I feel like I feel like Fortnite is one of those games where you come back after five years with the boys, play once, once or yeah, twice. I mean, that's, that's what I do. It, I'll okay. play it once a year. Yeah. I'll play yeah, it that, that's yeah, quite, I think everyone does. That's, quite, everyone that's does. quite fair because, like, it's quite hard to compare Fortnite just because of how big it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it, yeah. it was massive. Like, it was everyone like, uh, we've, ne I, I, we've never, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it. No. Yeah, because my, my, it's like one of the biggest games ever. But I, I feel no, like Rock. All I was gonna my 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 only point of that is I think Rock League has more um, the fact that it's just so mechanical. I th I don't think that goes away with age. Like the whole like uh, uh, Fortnite being targeted towards kids, it's good because kids play it. But it's also bad because when the kids get older, they're not gonna play as much. That's all. That's all I was gonna say about that. And I don't think Rock League, although but it's I, like for everyone has that same problem. Look, I think it's a great Fortnite's game. Also very mechanical. I think, I think it's an incredible game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think it's an incredible game, but I think we're underestimating how repetitive it is. What? I think Rock, that, which, Rocket, Rocket League. League. Rocket League, Rocket. yeah. So it's Fortnite. I, I think have to change the map every few months to but they, keep people But, they, but they, that, that, they have that available to them. We don't, we don't, we don't do that. Is, is, rep, is the repetition element no, that's bad, though, Aren't in and of regular itself? Sports but the thing is, yeah, like, what about look, football? At, look at League of Legends, right? Look at League of Legends. I guess you're right, yeah. Like, League yeah. of Legends, you spawn in, yeah, everything's like spawns at the exact same time, like the minions and whatever. The, the drakes <laughs> and the barons everything it's the exact same game yeah every yeah i guess time. you're right then what matters is what happens yeah. inside which is the same <clears throat> as rocket league really yeah it's yeah, a bit true. different but yeah the, the the difference with rocket league is that five seconds into the game you're already in like a game you've never seen before like the position mm -hmm. like it, there are so many different determining factors that there's infinite possibilities of what could happen like chess yeah they haven't updated chess since the beginning they need to nerf the knight uh that thing keeps on like uh destroying me but like they, they're not gonna do it I, I feel like they're just like set in the you know in their ways and i, I don't know i don't think like the the constant like meta shifting is a bad like I, I feel like it's just fine. It's a good game. Why why change it? Like the the core that's, game that's is just right. good. I think something needs to be added to the game. I think that's. I, I think I think uh, boost on the ceiling. Give me boost I, I, on the ceiling. No, yeah, boost the ceiling is interesting. That'd no, I cool. think I think standardized hit boxes actually did like uh, take away a lot of the like possibilities. Yeah, yeah I, I, think, I, I think, agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I, feel standardized... like, I feel like the I feel like the non-standard maps in RLCS was way too early. Like I feel like uh, <laughs> I Sonic's think, tried I think, to implement the way too. Early I think we should well. have new maps. I think we should have new maps as well. Like well, shape, you guys think non-standard map? Yeah, shapes. I think it's really. I think I, I, think, I think I think you guys would complain like I, I thought about it for a while. I thought <laughs> they it was do like, that. I, they I can't even talk about Destiny yeah, maybe. at one point to me. Oh wow! But, like, that, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that, that was ages ago. It's not gonna happen. But, I don't like, think it was um, even that long ago, was it? Well, well we've we spoke to you, but you spoke to me that was fucking ages ago. But, um, but like they they can't even make it the same sized map without like clipping <laughs> yeah, stuff. Bro, they, like how are they oh. going to be able to make a non? Did they put a topper in the game and it right breaks? Spot. It Does... breaks the backboard colors if they put like a topper in the game. <laughs> bro, do you remember actually... like the whole Forbidden Temple thing where they had to add Aquadome because oh, the map is. was broken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. then like the new Neo Tokyo, whatever it was, was broken. Mm. Like how, how hard? How come they not copy and paste? Yeah. And, and there's still there's still 100. percent Like I swear to God, on one of my streams recently, I had a post bounce that was just the most insane shit I've ever All seen. All right, mate. We're not here to discuss your It's a Phoenix based game, man. Yeah, never. We're not here to talk about your backboard reads, mate. We're here to talk about the esports. W take. W take. But like, what what about like? Rizzo mentioned it earlier. I feel like we glossed over it. Rock League racing could be, or they could have added over all these years, like a rings race, Rock League rings racing, where it's like a totally yeah. different game in Rock League. I think that sounds pretty cool. And uh, I'm bad at aerials, so I would be bad at it. Um, but I, I think it sounds like a cool idea to have to have an ability to hop on a you know rings map and just race people. That you can't really do that in Rock League because you need to use the whole virtual land thing. It's very hard, very laggy. 
Hey, very hard to set up, very laggy. Someone so. just said in chat a very a very good point. They mentioned the Eversax Olympics thing. Why mm-hmm. couldn't Epic, Sound, yeah, whatever one I you want to say, sort something like that out for every, I don't know, month or a couple of months? Like, you've got De- Delcor. I don't know if you guys know Delcor, but he's... Yeah. He beast. streams doing it, and he's like the best. He's got four hundred like viewers right now. He pulled a K earlier, or like eight hundred or something. Yeah, it's, it's four a.m. for him, and he's got. <laughs> wait, sorry. How many did I say? Four hundred and five viewers. Like, cool. Where's Where's the? Why can't Epic do that? Why has it got to be a a pro coach making the map with? I think it's Jidek. I don't know how to pronounce it. Jidek. And then. They have to do it. Where's the, where's Psyonix to do that or Epic or whoever? Dude, there's Why there's aren't... no workshop maps in Epic Epic Games Launcher. Like if you get the game oh, now, yeah. you can't even yeah, play. Yeah, because they move the game to their launcher. own launcher. Like yeah, Fortnite had creative. What is that the next step? Which we already have. Yeah, just, yeah. Like there's only workshops. Like we have workshop. We had it on Steam. You've moved it to Epic. No workshops. <laughs> but like workshop workshop in Rocket League, yeah, it was it was there on Steam, but the the integration was so difficult, and uh, not accessible to the vast majority of the player base, so it's not really the same as the Unreal Five Fortnite version where everybody can play it. The click of a button, you don't need to download any external programs and things like that. You don't have to download external programs for workshop. Um, well, to like play them with other the, people. You just go on the Steam Steam Workshop, click subscribe, and then open the game. Yeah, yeah but to, to play people, to play with yeah. other people, oh, you do. play you with other to, people. Oh, yeah, okay, you yeah. can't play with other but, people, which takes away like the mm. like a large part of it. I feel and if consoles, you, could, you know, Fortnite. Yeah, consoles can yeah, no, play. You're right. Can't you're right play. in that sense. But the same, like they could do what Eversax has done if they wanted to, like. The single player. You can't I, play they so I don't know too much about. I don't know too much about game making games, but. It's in Unreal Three is supposed to be significantly harder than Unreal Five. Is all all I know. Oh, um, it's in so. the game. Unreal Two. It's, it's really in game. already in the game. <laughs> what do you mean? It's hard to make. No, it like we just discussed that they can't. We, they, well, so you're, you're, can't do it, but Sonic can do it. Well, you're you're, you're no in, games, a work, in the workshop. Yes. Company. Sorry. Well, like, oh, sorry. You're yeah, saying they games. can't make the same size map. They can't copy paste. Where where do you think the resources are going to come from to make the this? What you're saying? Because if they're going to do all that, let me let me look. Epic Games. I knew you were going to do that. But the thing is, like, What's what are they ROI, getting man? back from it? What do they get? They've got to calculate what do they get in return versus what they spend or what they like have to continue spending to have you that buy available. Buyers, why buy the game? Yeah. But like, why do they? The do they like, I mean, improve it. Do they something always? New. Like, people would does there always have to be a yeah. direct profit, like a direct profit from from something? Business wise, no, it doesn't yeah. have to be direct. I mean, they didn't directly like, profit when they bought it. They lost a million to buy the IP, and they're, that's an investment, right? So, yeah, they are. Yeah, Bill. Uh, oh, to, Bill. To okay. My, yeah. Sorry, I always yeah, yeah, get no. that like uh, mixed up. But yeah, the that that like that's uh, they're investing because they see value in it. And I mean, Rocket League does make money like constantly. I'm sure. Um, but how much compared to what they invest in it? Probably, probably, it probably makes a lot of money compared to what they invest. Um, if, if like the, if there are that many people playing and buying items, I don't know. I feel, I feel like Rocket League is probably very profitable for them. Have they recouped their billion yet? I don't know. I don't know how how much they make, but it is like possible. Yeah, who told you this? The, the like uh, the for, Sionix is bought for a billion. I swear that was just like a public thing. Uh, wait, I'm gonna Google I this. That. But what I was gonna say was, you're talking about like direct profit mm-hmm. from what like I'm saying about like the workshop, like just do like an Olympics every year or whatever, and have the winner get I don't know 50k something like that. Um, like put put some money into oh, it. Oh, 300 mil, sorry. And they'll mm-hmm. see sorry, returns like mm-hmm. in the size of like the player base in the if they if that's popping and the player base is higher and they put something in the shop, it's gonna sell better. That's just how it works. Um. Like it's what it's what um I know this is like a niche thing to mention, but when you know when Joyo started using the Mustang, yeah, um, they put it in the shop. Obvious because people have watched the esport, they see one of the best players using that car, and they're like, ah, okay, I want to use that car. That's like, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, it'd be the same thing, and I'm sure they made more money off the Mustang than if they like um just put I don't know the Sentio in the shop. NFL Gridiron, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> favorite event, even though it has literally nothing to do. It's been back. Hey, 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 hey. you're talking to a Gridiron Games champion. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Chill out. Great, great, great around, bro. That's why they just rinse the same like three limited time game modes. 
NASCAR. Halloween Halloween uh, pumpkin. Heat seeker. Woohoo. And the Badness show as well. It's NFL NASCAR and what, what's the other one? MLB. Where, where yeah, is the FIFA one? one? Yeah, it's the full American. One? Well, full American. Look, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. We could go in circles all day, but I'm not sure. We've we've. Uh, <laughs> I think okay, we've, everyone, we've covered everyone. most topics. In your opinion, next step for the game, Johnny Boy, go ahead. The next step Rock for League Rocket League. Racing. Sorry, Sorry. I'm not Johnny Boy. My bad. <laughs> the next, the next step Track for Mania Epic kill. with Rocket League. How Is do you grow the asking? game or the esports? Up to you. Well, I would say honestly, oh. looking at what the current rumors are, if I'm saying right next step based on what I know. Yeah, see what happens uh, with, when you no, chuck Rocket League like, racing into. If you can do anything, if you can do anything. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, the, the, okay. like that's where I'm going with it. Yeah, uh, I'm saying wait and see how the integration of Rocket League racing in Fortnite goes. If it's a massive success, do the same thing with Rocket League. No joke. Like, why not? If it's just like it just completely blows up and uh, all their numbers are up, they're making tons of money. And the integration's easy. Community's going crazy making all this, uh, all the custom content. Um, and it just turns into like uh, another version of what they already have as their most successful thing. Yeah, why not just do that with Rocket League? Make Rocket League 2, whatever they want to call it, and put that in Fortnite as well. I genuinely think that, that if, if it's a big success, do that. If it's not, if it tanks, make Rocket League its own thing. Don't put it in Fortnite. If like Rocket League Racing sucks in Fortnite, it's a disaster. I feel like it's a great guinea pig. You know, like if that's what's actually going to happen, if this leak is true, this uh, this sounds like a fantastic guinea pig uh, to test, and then you can decide what to do with Rocket League based on what happens. That's my cur my current like gut instinct for what to do. All right. Uh, what CJ. about you? Oh, are you no, going to tell I'm us gonna, yours I'm, at the I'm end of this? I'm going around the table. I'm going around the table. Are, are, are yeah. we going to hear yours as well? Because I want to hear yours as well. Yeah. yeah uh, is there's like a conclusion here. here. Mine okay. is take the risk, long term gain. Put all resources into Rocket League. We get Rocket League 2, UE5, right? And all of a sudden, this is, we're talking, we're talking like Rocket League regular sport. We've got, we got the under sixes league. You know, they've got the local comp under sixes. We've got the under eights playing Rocket League. It's an E for everyone game. It's just like playing a kid growing up, playing a bit of baseball in the park, playing a bit of football, whatever you want. And we turn this thing into the biggest e -sport. This isn't just e -sport. This is like, this is just a way of life. It is like it is like any other sport. Kids grow up and go, I want to play, you want to play a little, yeah, right. How about you join your local little Rocket League comp, little Timmy? You know, little under sixes, whatever you want to play. Yeah. And 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 it could and I think they could turn it into something that's even bigger than Fortnite. Because Fortnite still is held by, held back by the fact that it is a shooter. Um, we don't like that when we're looking at in terms of making something that's regular sports worthy. I know I don't, people don't like the transition. I don't, I'm not saying you know, it has to be a regular sport, but I'm saying just something that is so, well, so ingrained into the global world in terms of mm. gaming, the future. I'm seeing it, and I'm not seeing it if they get it into Fortnite. I'm not seeing it in this Fortnite metaverse stuff. I'm seeing it as Rocket League on its own, standing on its own, on its own mountain, still run by Epic Games, but they now have two giants of gaming. I don't mind it. That was inspirational. I don't mind. But they got to take the risk. W take. They got to put. They got to put a ton of money into what whatever they need to do to <laughs> make Rocket League two because we need this. We need Rocket League two because it can be like it, it can be mm. so much bigger than it is now. Like the possibilities, the game modes. I know we're talking about Rocket League racing. If we had Rocket League by itself, we can have your rings maps. We can have. A, a gazillion things. We can have Rocket League volleyball. We can have Rocket League every other sport you want. Um, plus soccer and actually done properly um, and you can have just in like the amount of maps you could make the ease of use we see what ue fortnite does with ue5 imagine rock league i mean i think you've got to keep it on its own though i think you got to keep this the heart and soul because it can grow to yeah. its own thing that's my thing <clears throat> right so what's your what's your thing mate? What's i don't your... know jack you're next mate uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, look i think we have to start small like we we can't even get like basic, <clears throat> like like it's something like like, like a, an actual good season reward. We genuinely can't. We're talking about making other games and making it into creative mode. We can't even like we don't get communication. We don't get like actual like cool stuff. We just get the same kind of items rinsed over and over and over each season. So I think it has to start from from the from the ground up. Really, it has to start from really small. So if you were Epic, 
you would just make cool end season rewards and that's it that's your like like that if you say it like that sure that it sounds so stupid but dude that we can't we don't even get that <laughs> and we we're expecting them that then you're not wrong go, we're we're you're expecting them then, then sorry i can't speak we're expecting them to then go like and just pull out something crazy and make it like the great biggest thing in the world we can't can't even get like a dude when they add a like a drink topper on top of your car it breaks the light inside of a stadium somehow it breaks like a certain part of the map on the backboard for some reason because they've added a topper like this the game doesn't work bro so we need ua5 somehow yeah yeah fair enough i mean i tend to agree with jack um wait nelson you, sorry i haven't heard from I haven't heard from nelson yet um in my opinion in my in my actual on, honest opinion because i'm not sure in my in my very honest opinion i think that there is when you think about rock league you don't even think about epic generally like if you think when you think about rock league you instantly think of, of sonics uh with the way things are going i feel like epic needs to get involved more i feel like we need proper transparency with epic moving forwards from 2024 if, if, that, if that's what they're trying to do um i feel like to like something something with the game, I feel like they need to start changing the the rocket pass, maybe some features, um, maybe add some more uh, what's it called? Add some more playlists. I'm I'm not really sure. Like some actual playlists to stay along. No, 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 not like that. Like it's like extra modes. If that makes, I don't even know. Even maybe even extra modes. I'm not sure. But the game is just stale, in my opinion. The game is just the, is, is basically exactly the same uh, rock lead that I think of. Maybe even like 2019. 2018, whenever they, whenever uh, Epic bought uh, Rock League, and uh, I feel like a good thing that Rock League could do or Epic could do is non-standardized maps, hitboxes, etc. Could up the the skill ceiling, even though we don't even know where the where the skill ceiling is. Um, I feel like Rock League could actually release the game to Koreans because you can't even buy yeah, real yeah. in Korea. Yeah, that's, you, that's you, true. You, actually, actually, you guys would remember you they guys bought the game. That. Do you remember you, the you, Chinese game? Like, you, yeah, you that, can't uh, buy yeah. the game in Rock League, by the way. They removed it. I remember that players. game. I swear it was like, I, I swear I heard, so it could be just like BS, but I swear yeah. I heard in the Chinese version of the game, they, they had like, at the start, you could either... Projection, yeah. Yeah, you could either choose it, uh, that you could see the path of the ball, yeah, yeah. or you could have three jumps. Was that it? Was that it? Yeah. No, it, it, yeah, no it was there, was not, it was, there was not yeah. three jumps. I played I played it on okay. release. There was, there was not jumps. three jumps. There was a ball projection, though. That was, yeah, just that a, was ball projection. Okay. Like, I got I feel told like that you could choose three, between three those jumps two. That's where you couldn't exist. play online, though. Did you not, I no, you couldn't I, play online. Yeah, I played online. It was laggy as hell, but I did it. Yeah, I feel like those are the two okay. markets that Rock League just isn't uh, capitalizing at all. Maybe I'm biased because I'm I'm playing in APAC, but no, just like think about just think about no, the League true. of Legends, Dota, like all these like big games. They all have like all, all the Koreans are dominating those games. So the fact that there's like literally no basically no Korean community or Chinese community at all is it's a big miss. Yeah. Um, and I also feel like if Rock League actually opened up the the, the game like Valve. You know, maybe shorten our LCS, make it a little bit more special instead of it being all year long. Uh, maybe get ESL involved, like they do in CS:GO. Maybe have their own circuit. Uh, the majors being like the actual more, uh, most important, uh, important, most prestigious events. Because right now, I feel like with, with the way our LCS is going on, like uh, people will watch the first split, yeah, cool, whatever, who makes land, and then after that, this is more about the esports. Side. After that, people don't really like. Uh, I feel like the viewership. I don't have the numbers, but it feels like. Uh, whenever I watch, the viewership gets lower and lower uh, as the season gradually moves on. So I feel like if the seasons were shorter, an ESL, DreamHack, whoever made uh, different events, and then with that also, if Sonix actually allowed third-party uh, TOs to have their own sponsors, not just PG3 uh, for everyone uh, or whatnot, actually, like, whatever it is, crypto. I remember there was a crypto, crypto sponsored land in London, got cancelled one day before. Maybe even gambling, like I don't advise gambling, but you know, uh, like these things. But you these, want you want to promote these, it? I don't know. No, I don't want to promote it. But <laughs> no, but like it, no, if you think about it, now if you think about it, when you when you, when you when you when you watch sports, like, and you think about the sponsors that show up, like I, I think we all, we all like can think about the the type of sponsors that show up. Like it's something that I don't think we can actually get away with if you if you want to be like uh, profitable or yeah, or even no, agree. You know, I, I literally feel like there's no there's no way to go around it. I actually there generally is no way to go around it. Like American, more if people like, want, I think. American sports, for example, the NBA for uh, in the NBA for like forty years they didn't they did not want to have any sponsors on on the shirts. 
on, on the jerseys. And now every year, the like the di- dimensions that they can have are bigger and bigger. Now, like in America, because in some states, I don't know if this is right, but in some states, you ca- uh, gambling is illegal, right? Yeah. But now you watch the NBA, non-stop gambling uh, ads, uh, crypto ads, whatever. Like, you know, I don't advise it, but I'm just saying that the profits that these guys oh, make money. would probably, yeah, it's, it's just more money, yeah. And I feel like the ROI would, would definitely get bigger. So I feel like Rock League is just capping the esports uh, p- potential with having all this PG3, like, oh, like, no, you can't do this, can't do that. You can't even have uh, car sponsors doing tournaments. Like, it's not allowed. Uh, I think it was only, only Ford or something. I'm not sure what it was. Um, you look at RLCS now, uh, 21, 22, basically every NA land was like Verizon 5G cup or whatever, you know, slushy oh, cup. Wow. I remember, I remember even that the 7-Eleven slushy cup, <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking yeah. about the ridiculous names you're having here. Like it's, do you, do you not understand how ridiculous it is that there's a 7-Eleven slushy cup? Like it sounds funny, but it, look, look, I just think about the amount of money that Sonix is potentially losing sponsorship wise from not allowing crypto gambling. Even energy drinks aren't even allowed. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, no, they're and not. They can't have also, red months. Yeah, and, and also ima- imagine, yeah, because in the in the rules yeah. it says that if you go to lands that the teams have to like tape over the sponsors. Imagine every land. Imagine like Team Liquid, for example, had to tape Monster Energy, Coinbase. Literally, half of the shirt is just just taped up. That that would be the exact same thing in sports. Imagine that happened in sports. Like it just, it just wouldn't happen. So I feel like Epic has to open up the game for a third party. There needs to be more transparency uh, from Epic moving forward from 2024. They need to get the game to uh, Korea, China, open up those markets. And I feel like to, uh, for the actual game, add some more, uh, what's it called? Add some more like uh, game modes permanently, like like Heat Seeker. I don't know what, I don't even know when's the last time they added an actual new game mode. It's just the same ones recycled and non standardized maps and hitboxes. That's, that's all. Might be a little bit that's, too much, guys. That's Sorry, no, that's, that's, all. that's all. It is. Oh, it is. Okay, you <laughs> spoke for like twenty minutes. I don't, yeah, that's right. Single thing about just said, by the way. I am I wrong with any of this? No, like no. Sonic is just capping the game. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, like, you asked for a miracle. You basically asked to cure cancer. That was insane. No. And then you said that's that's what we need. That's what we need. No, I mean you're not wrong. Yeah, that'll save it for sure. But you gave basically a list of everything. You know. Look. Look that's, like, all, that's, what, that's what we need. That's literally what we need. We don't need fucking Fortnite racing, bro. Yeah, we what do you want me to it. say, Rizzo? Oh, yeah, Fortnite <laughs> racing's cool. You eat that. That sounds good. <laughs> no, man. I'm just going to say it's straight to the point. That's it. That's, yeah, that's literally what we need. Dead Dead open up the game, man. I can put you yeah, thank you. Thank you. Just open up the, the game, The untapped please. Asian market, bro. The un- get the it's game to Korea, untapped. please. Bro, get yeah. the game to Korea. No, no. football, bro. Oh, and they would cook. We'd be jobless, but we would be jobless. Wait, but is, the is, it, is it not available in Korea? No, you can't buy it, literally. China it. as well. The game doesn't exist well, in China. Well, of course you can't, because it's free to play, right? No, no. <laughs> no, it literally doesn't exist. They removed oh, okay. it from the whatever... whatever Wait, so it's, uh, not, even, it's uh, not even in China either? No, no, not at all. And in Korea as well, you really can't play it. That's like a billion people that can't play it. Yeah, it's insane. Brain dead is that? No, I actually, I actually that. didn't no, even seriously. know that. I thought it was. I thought it was available in China still. Yeah, people don't even care. You know, like people don't even know anything about this because, like, they're they're just like neg- uh, neglected. You know, so um, yeah, I don't know. Also, guys, the thing- guys, real quick. Unfortunately, sorry, guys. I do have to. I do have to go. Yeah. I do have to go. Um, Wait, Jack. All good. Are you yeah, in you Austin can, next can... week? Huh? Are you in Austin next week? Yeah. For um, yeah, for two more weeks. I'm there, bro. Next week, let's link this. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, I'll see you guys later. Right. Peace, Jack. Good night, good night, good night. All right, Rise, did you have closing right, thoughts? Because I think it's about time yes. to wrap this one up. Rise oh, is gonna, gonna give us break time. Look, Rocket League, biggest potential in a game. Fucks. Maybe ever. Mm, that's a bit of a push, but in terms of marketing, all that type of stuff, ridiculous. Football mm-hmm. is it an E for everyone's sport in real life? Yes. Are there betting sponsors after every single in every single ad break? <laughs> yes. 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 Do, do you know why? Because the kids aren't going to pick up the phone and gamble and go bet 365, Stoke are going to win through. <laughs> They're not. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay? It's true. No, it's true. I'm, I'm just no, it is. Um, yeah, it is. League of Legends. You watch League of Legends, the World Championships on right now. They have every single little part of their game is sponsored. You look, they show the graph of how much like gold the team has. And it's sponsored by Mastercard. Like the all that com is sponsored. Ads, crypto, replay, everything. Like Mastercard all that, replay. All that is in their pockets, bro. In their pockets, it's free money. It's just free money. Like they, they Rocket League did it with the Verizon replay or whatever. But it's mm. like Rocket League has like three sponsors because they don't want to step out of their little 
PG bubble, which uh-huh. I think is complete bullshit and capping themselves even more. <laughs> Uh, it's true. Um, it's just yeah. lower yeah. than PG. E for everyone is even more. Uh, it doesn't E for PG. everyone though. It it made like it more of a global game because it's on every console. <clears> little <throat> kids can play on the Switch and stuff. Isn't like yeah, second of all, my, 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 I don't want to turn on. this into another discussion. Okay, sorry, I, I thought you were finished. But no, I was go just on. gonna, I was gonna keep, I was gonna keep playing. Yeah, keep I, going. Like I'm, I'm gonna be reiterating a lot of Vert's points. Cause I think he's completely right. The Asian yeah. market, every country in Asia, mm-hmm. just just market the fuck out of the game. You bought the game for a billion, right? You're a multi, multi billion dollar company. Market the game in Asia, everywhere, everywhere, South America, mm. market it more. Because if the game's not even available, what are they doing? Like, what, what do they actually expect to happen to the game? The, the market in esports is Asia. That's the biggest, yeah. that's the no, biggest place it is. You, you, and you then can't run. It, you, how so, sorry. Is that? So, so, sorry, right? I'll, I'll just uh, both in here. You literally can't run a successful esports that's profitable or even close to profitable without Asia, like being in the equation, like whatsoever, in my opinion. Like, Valorant, League of Legends, all like the biggest communities are Asia, even, even if NA and EU brings in more money. You know what doesn't make more. sense is that Tencent owns like a majority, not like a majority, it's like 40%, like, close enough, of Epic, and they're not in. Asia for Rocket League, I, I, I guess. Yeah, 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 that's true. But Tencent, Tencent is, a, oh, I didn't mm-hmm. actually add this context, but Tencent is a Chinese company and they're mm-hmm. like Rocket yeah, League so. is not in Asia. And they so own 40% what, stake what we in need Epic. to know is we need to be communicated with more. I said it in chat earlier. I don't know if people will have seen or people like if they watch this back on Spotify or whatever, but the, the pro Discord, like, there's no one for us to contact with. We don't have, <laughs> we can't speak to anyone. Like yeah. the whole, I could show you the chat. It's just like people asking questions to no response because everyone's been fired. What's going on in Epic? Like what is actually happening at the company? We don't get told anything. Do we know anything about next season apart from that it starts in 2024? No. No. We have no fucking clue. Do like, I don't, th- from what I've been told anyway, maybe they're keeping it from like all the players, but orgs haven't been told a single thing about next season. No. Nope. Like we have no idea. Like it's, Fuck, like there's nothing going on. Like what is actually happening to the game? Jack Jack put in a massive paragraph in the pro discord to obviously he got no reply. Um basically saying like <laughs> what's the direction of the game? Sorry, I'm gonna laugh because that's where the Archie McDonald's meme spawned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. it is. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah. the he put a massive paragraph saying what's going on with the game? There's nothing. We we know nothing. We have no idea what's going on. And then they're randomly taking out trading putting the the game in for in Fortnite like Rocket League racing like bro wake up the, you you're just neglecting yourself from Asia all of that stuff that I just said and it's just dumb I agree uh, Asia agreed communication 100% agreed absolutely yep. no Sounds no debate there we're all we're all agreed like communication and the Asian market yes 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 my one food for thought that I don't want to turn into another discussion because we've already gone for three hours, but just food for thought is look at, like, you know, on the E for everyone thing versus, you know, try and target an older market with gambling sponsors. Look at how many YouTube channels there are in the most subscribed YouTube channels that are entirely targeted at kids. And you've probably never even heard of them. They just have like over 100 million subscribers and they're entirely targeted at kids with ads to kids because that generates a lot of money as well and a lot of impressions so like i don't know like it i don't think it's as crystal clear that that is more profitable just yeah, little, 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 jimmy, Actually, uh, little jimmy watches yeah. coca melon like at dinner while his parents like want him to like <laughs> focus on something else instead of annoying them they just stick it on the, the ipad and let him watch it he's not gonna sit mm-hmm. there going zen oh fucking god no bro <laughs> he doesn't care he's not watching esports it's like a sport you, like yeah. it's just <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like actually, Johnny. T- now, j- just to talk about this yep. point, is there any esports that's e for everyone that is like a tier one? No, e-sport so is like... that's not what I'm suggesting. Esports is obviously targeted at older people. You're absolutely right. However, Rocket League, the game, is what's e for everyone, and that for that reason, everything tied to Rocket League because the base game is e for everyone also has to be e for everyone whenever you do like a rocket league like integration sponsored by psionics it has to be e for everyone whenever they do anything in esports it has to be e for everyone because of the game not because they think the esport is marketable to kids but because they want the game to be playable by everyone because there's a huge league of legends is rated teen yet they promote gambling which is 18 plus everywhere in the world 
Yeah, like, like it's completely it's, separate. It's, like, it's for I adults, know. so I don't get. Yeah, that. Well, I don't think esports is is for everyone, is it? Like, I mean, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Like, is esports targeted for three year old kids, four year old uh, kids? Well, about, no, or? Rocket League. Yeah, bro, set, you like, know the esport you play. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rocket League, everything like whenever, whenever you do like a esports like the or uh, not an esport, whenever you, you run an event as a TO that's sponsored by Sonic, so it has to be E for everyone because Rocket League's E for everyone. Like you can't have people swearing in the stream or even typing swears in the stream. That's just like against the rules in the contract you sign when you do a, a Rocket League tournament. And RLCS is the exact same thing. It has to be that because that's what the game is. And there is, it's not inherently wrong to market a game for everyone that's not like a, a bad concept and the game itself is like infinitely bigger than the esport so you can't just say actually the esport would do better because if, if it was it would make more money through ad revenue if it was sponsored by gambling sponsors um because then you'd have to raise the age of the game by a certain amount i don't know what the legal requirement would be but it probably wouldn't be e for everyone um and then you lose the ability to market that gate the game to that age group and make money in the game so maybe you make more money in esports, or you make less money in the game. Uh, how much? I don't know, but like you definitely make less. Uh, that's for sure. That, okay, that's my, my last. That's my food for sorry. Time. Yeah, sorry right. to put you off, but the um, the last thing for me is esport related. It's not really game, actual game related. Is mm -hmm. this format needs to stop? Like the the format that we currently have is like Vert said. The longer the season goes on, the less people give a shit because it's so repetitive. Yeah, so it's not Three online, a ma a LAN, and then after the LAN, no one gives a shit about the online regionals because they don't mean anything really. You know what teams are going to be at the major, you just watch the major. Pretty pretty mm. much that's what that's the case. In my opinion, I think mm. I spoke to T Bates about this on his stream. Um, and I think he's right. We see the best teams play against each other way too often. We see Let's say, for example, last season, you'd see a Vitality Carmine matchup every two weeks. It takes all the hype out of the game. In my opinion, it might not be a popular one, but um, league play might need to be reinstated. Um, make the RLCS a league. Um, and I mean, that, that's just the way I see it. I think I mean, league play is way more sport like it's way more hype for the casual viewer to know like what matchups are better um it doesn't have to be the same league players the one they did before they can change it and and swap it up like that it doesn't have to be 10 teams in rlcs 10 teams are lrs that's it um but that's that's just the way i see it i think that and, the best teams and... play each other so often is so boring if you want to listen to the Chalkcast discussion on League Play featuring Rise, Virtuoso, apparently Jack, tune in next Tuesday at the same time and we will have that talk. It's going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, if you like 3-hour episodes, then tune in <laughs> next week. Well, let's not go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like we've, been, we've, been here for, we've been here for quite a while. I think now is a great time to uh, wrap it, honestly. I... Uh, you know, I'm not gonna get into that rabbit hole rise. Uh, we we can be back next week though. That's actually a great. Let's let's, let's great bring point. in let's bring in T base. Let's make it a five hour episode, twelve hour episode. Let's do <laughs> let's do a twenty four hour stream. Only I want to get out of this shake away costume and go to bed. I'm not gonna lie. So <laughs> thank you everybody for listening, for watching. Thank you for watching my Gario session as well. Uh, if you guys missed any part of the episode, be sure to tune in on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or YouTube if you missed any of it. And be sure to join the Discord. Shout out to all of our patrons. Uh, we appreciate you guys as always. Thank you so much. We got bonus episodes on there, so if you want to check that out, yeah. be sure to Every do so. Patreon.com slash shotcast, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Five hour episode next week. We'll see you there. Goodbye, everybody. Let's go. Peace out. Bye. Peace.